So chaos was erupting. Um, the group had gotten into town, Virginia City, and had established what was going on. Uh, you met with Christopher. You learned about the everything about the strike going on, and the you know the trouble with the strike breakers and this and that. And you heard about this uh, young lady named Sister Nettie. Um, so the group had gone and met with Sister Nettie, and uh, she was a little bit on the uh, the loony side, uh, talking <laughs> about uh, you know talking to the voice of God through her horse. And whatnot, but other than that, she did come across as being blessed and nice. And eventually, the group was attacked by undead. So the group uh, fought off the walking dead, drove that you know those folks off, sent them back to the grave, and they decided it was time to go look in on the, the strike breakers and see what could, you could do with the Comstock load. And then that's when things really got crazy because uh, Harley did what Harley does best. And as you rolled in, and things were starting to get heated. He dropped the big bomb right in the middle of the strike breakers and just laid a whole mess of them down. Uh, strike breakers are laying all over the place, and the rest of them scattered like <laughs> like birds, you know, with a gunshot going off. They just ran for the hills, and your group realized that uh, you you might be in a little peck of trouble here. Maybe maybe that wasn't the best, but you know that's okay. That's what Harley does best. Uh, so you made you made a run for it, at least to lay low for just a little bit, because uh, there, there's bound to be some fallout for this. Uh, through Christopher, you learned that there was a seamstress who lived not too far away where you realized, or he said you could get a set of clothes. Uh, and her, her name was Mary. Uh, the, uh, the young man and woman had a fondness for each other. So you, uh, you, you went to Mary's and caught her just before she was closing and, and snuck in for the night. She let you come in, uh, cause she let, she, you know, liked Christopher so much. And then she set about starting to create some, some new clothes for you. So you'd have a different look. And that's where we left off for the session. So the... The work she's doing is going to take her most of the night, but you're in a pretty safe place, you know, to hold up for the time being, and you can't go anywhere until you have the new. Oh, I'm sorry, you. She finished the work. Sorry, I retcon what I just said a little bit. She finished <laughs> the work, gave you the clothes, and then you went to find a, a place to really hold up for the night, and you went to a place called the Ghost Rock Hotel. Uh, this this place was as run down, as smelly on the edge of town. It was just it was just a awful location. Uh, but the, the price was cheap. Uh, your group had actually asked, Evan liked the name of the place. And you guys had asked, you know, what the story with the hotel was when you first went in. And the uh, the hotel heir uh, revealed to you that it had been his father's establishment. He had opened it up. Unfortunately, the name had driven away a lot of the customers. And they would not done so well over the years. But he just didn't have the heart to change the name of the hotel. So <laughs> with that in mind, he gave you a couple of rooms up on the uh, top floor looking out over the mountain range to the north of the uh, the uh, Virginia City here. And you guys uh, settled in for the night to get some rest. So uh, first things first, uh, we do have... Oh, actually, no. No one is injured. I was going to say someone's injured, but no, they're not. Because Brother Malachi and Sister Nettie used their blessed abilities and healed those who had been injured by the Walking Dead. And no one got hurt during the encounter with the, uh, the Strike Breakers. Um, strike breakers got hurt. Strike breakers, yeah, that's true. Strike breakers definitely got hurt. <laughs> so the uh, the wind is cutting past the uh, the hotel windows, and and there's the fortunately because you're you're facing the North Mountains, so the the sun doesn't cut into your room, but there's just enough light to start waking you up for the day. Um, shortly after the first you wakes up, you hear a, a gentle knock on the door, and you hear hello, hello, this is Miss Klein. The master of the house sent me up to bring you some breakfast. He said you want it in your rooms. Hello? Uh, you can leave it at the door. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, you hear the sound of uh, you know, sil silverware and whatnot, and uh, what sounds like a tray and maybe some glasses, and uh, get set down on the floor, and then you hear some feet scuffling away down the hallway. I, uh, I take my shotgun and kind of pick it up and pull the hammers back on the double barrel and slowly open the door and look outside with the shotgun kind of at my side. All right. Uh, give me a notice check. Here, I thought I was just being a little paranoid, but I guess not. Um, notice. Did you notice the bullet whizzing by you? Nah, as usual, my brother Malachi is not very, yeah, one not shy, very observant. One shy of success. Well, as far as you know, you, 
you glance both ways carefully down the hallway, you know, just peek out enough. You don't see anyone looking. There's definitely no one like standing right there ready to jump you or anything. So right. You grab, you grab the trays and you, you pull them back inside with the food. So uh, there's pretty standard fare on the tray. Uh, nothing too fancy. You know, there's. I thought we all had our own room. You do. So we're going to retcon a little bit more. <laughs> what you do see, because she's not trying to hide, you see the young lady uh, who called herself Miss Klein. Uh, down at the second door, and she's knocking. And Evan, you hear the knocking at your door. He's like, "Good morning, good morning. I'm, I'm here with breakfast. My name is Miss Klein. The the master of the house sent me." Miss Klein, breakfast. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma good to me. I uh, open the door for breakfast. Uh, you see her there. She's you know she's a young looking woman, uh, even younger than Evan is. And, uh, she, you know, wearing a, a rather, rather plain, you know, brown dress and whatnot. And she nods to you and, and pushes. She's got this, you know, trolley and she, she pushes in and she has all these, these platters and whatnot with food. And she kind of takes one of the platters off and sets it on the side. And she takes a jug of milk and sets it there and puts a glass down for you and nods, turns her cart around and walk, push out the door. And she's like, you have a good morning, ma'am. I'll be back a little bit later. You can just leave the dishes outside. I'll grab them. Thank you, Lass. Have a good morning. You too. Um. Brother Malachi sees her go down to the third door, and there's. A Is knock. there actually was there coffee on my tray? Um, you know what? Being the old west, yeah, there's definitely coffee on your tray as well. Okay, so as long as there's milk coffee and coffee as well, because you said you gave that she gave milk to to uh, Evan, and if she brought me milk, I would have preferred coffee. So. Uh, yeah, there's definitely coffee there, and uh, that that would make perfect sense. So you would have shot her if she hadn't brought you coffee. <laughs> I'm straight. A lot, people, a lot of people would be like, <laughs> "That's right." She would Where's my coffee? <laughs> he would have gone to cock that shotgun, and she would have been long before he shot it. What was coming? No, I would have asked for coffee. I wouldn't have shot her over coffee. You had your gun cocked. I didn't know. We all heard it. <laughs> yeah. And probably the whole bar heard me. God. Uh, so there's a knock at uh, Tobias's door, and uh, she's uh, Miss this Miss Klein, the master of the house, sends me uh, breakfast. Um, with my uh, with my uh, the barrel of my Gatling pistol at the door. I'll open it up a little bit with my okay, with my Gatling pistol in my left hand. I'll open the door a little bit with my right, so it's out of view. And I'm going to scrutinize, take a good long look at this person, see if I can see anything about it that looks out of sorts. Is she nervous? Is she sweaty? Can I, uh... Yeah. Just, you know, see if maybe she's, uh... Her demeanor's a little off. Yeah, go ahead and give me a notice check. I clicked it. Obey me. Oh, baby. You clicked the word notice? I did. Three times now. There it goes. Oh, that was me. Whatever it was. Yeah. Oh. Well, I like the way you did it better anyway. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll see. You know what? Happens. It's It was it was open from yesterday. Maybe I just need to reopen it in another window here. Oh, yeah. Roll20 doesn't stay, like to stay open that long. Probably just need okay. to reload the browser. But um, I still want to keep that rule. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You can keep that rule. So Tobias is good at reading people. It's it's part of the job, part of his training. And uh, you, you get the impression she she's nothing more than what she appears to be on the surface. A uh, young lady working at the uh, Ghost Rock Hotel come to bring you breakfast. I'll uh, pull out. I'll, I'll open the door the rest of the way so she can reel her little trolley in. Do you have coffee? Oh, of course I do, sir. Uh, thanks for the reminder from the other fellow. <laughs> you heard it, too. All right, put it on the table, and then get out. Well, yes, sir. There's no need to be rude. As she, as she's setting the, the platter and, and all the food out and whatnot. And she turns and rolls her trolley out. And uh, the, uh, Brother Malachi, are, are you still watching at this point, or have you disappeared into your room as well? No, when I saw it was just her and there was nothing out of the ordinary, I closed the door and go back in and... Pour myself a cup of coffee. Pick through the bacon. All right. Yeah, there's bacon, eggs, uh, oatmeal, uh, a lot of the, the common fare. Uh, it's it's tasty, but nothing that you know you haven't gotten in any other saloon or or uh, board house. You know, from 
north, south, east, west, and across the weird west. Um, but it gave you a full belly. Uh, you're all well fed and are ready to start your day. Um, the I do all in, all of you need to give me a notice check as you're eating your food, though. Boom. Did I notice it was poisoned? <laughs> <laughs> all successes. And uh, d doubly, triply, quadruply so. That's a... You can smell the poison. As a matter of fact, you've developed a immunity to it <laughs> over the years. Small doses over the years. <laughs> Very small doses of it over the years. You've developed an immunity to it. Uh, down the hallway. So probably probably why he rolled such a success. So closest to Dubai. So the next room down. You hear, sir. Sir, this is Mrs. Klein. Sir, are you there? My dog's hurt. <laughs> the dogs are barking in the background. That's great. Uh, Who, whose door is she knocking she's, on? She's at Harley's door, but no one seems to be answering. Oh, okay. I wonder why. <laughs> um, Dang. A little while later, taken. you do hear the sound of her setting a tray on the floor, and you hear the, the wheels of the trolley as she, pushed, as she comes back down the hallway and uh, disappear, disappears to the, uh, the uh, elevator on the other side of the hotel. And you finish your meals. You're well fed. Elevator? Yeah. They actually did have elevators in the West, uh, especially in cities like this. And yeah, think of it as a dumb waiter. Yeah. They, now, they weren't very safe. Yeah. Uh, they, they actually, the larger cities did have some mechanical ones and whatnot. And I imagine in the world like Deadlands, uh, they probably got some ghost rock powered elevators around in some of the bigger cities. That's fair. Uh, as long as you can deal with the screaming of the ghost rock in your ears as, as you go up and down, you know, the dying <laughs> souls, it's okay. I'm pretty sure Devin's fine with it. <laughs> the, uh, I mean it. So what are you guys doing first? So you do have this bit of the situation. Uh, you are dressed in new clothes, so you're, you're not going to look like if it, you know, that there was obviously witnesses to what happened yesterday. Uh, you can't imagine the lawmen uh, aren't going to be looking for the perpetrators of the of what went down. Or maybe not. You never know. The situation could be completely different out there on the street right now. So what are you guys going to do next? Um, do I have a good view of the street from my window? Or at least, you know, yeah, do I have a good look of a, a lay of the land from my window? Or is it strictly looking at the mountains? Yeah, actually, yeah, you don't because it is facing out towards the mountains. Are all of our views yeah. towards the mountains? Yeah, you're all on the same side of the hallway. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the very back of the, basically in the very back of this hotel. Mm -hmm. Um, we should probably lie low, just for like a day or two. Don't want to rock any boats. Actually, when she, uh, actually, uh, when she finishes distributing breakfast to everybody and I noticed that Harley's not answering his door um I go over and kind of uh check on his room to see why he's not answering his door probably because he drank too much whiskey the night before and is hungover this is Harley we're talking about the uh but don't mind me I'm eating my breakfast in my room <laughs> You're probably right, though. Uh, you go, you know, you knock on your door, and, and much like uh, uh, Miss Klein, uh, you don't get any answer. Uh, and as you reach down, you check the handle, you realize the door is not locked. Kind of peek in, see what's going on. So you look inside, and the first thing you actually notice is uh, it doesn't look like anyone slept in the bed at all. Um, but beside that, you, you easily notice, you also see that, um, Harley's possessions, like the ones that he wasn't immediately carrying on him. So like his, his saddle, the possessions in his saddlebag, all that, all of that is still in the room, but Harley is not here. And he is definitely, if he slept anywhere last night, he definitely did not sleep here. Interesting. So, yeah. So you found Huck is not in his, not Huck, sorry, Harley I made a joke and then I tripped up in my own head. Uh, Harley is not in his room at all. He he has fled the scene. 
Okay. Or, you know, he is a gambler. There was a gambling hall downstairs, so maybe he got lost in a good game. He, he could be downstairs playing poker right now or – or uh... Actually, that's kind of what I'll do. I'll, I'll finish up um, what's left of my breakfast really quick, uh, throw my boots on and, and, and my duster uh, – and strap on my shotgun and then go downstairs and see what's going on in the common room and see if I spot him down there. And if not, maybe go ask the bartender if he's seen him. Okay. So you, um, you'll be under down there and it's, it's quiet because it's morning. So most only, only folks like Harley are actually found here around this time of morning, but like any good, any good, you know, large city uh, saloon that this place is open all hours of the night. Uh, so you see a weary-looking older gentleman working the bar behind the saloon, and there's like maybe three or four folks uh, sitting around, and you can tell they're playing cards, but they're really not into it. There's like low low stakes on the table, very little money moving around. They're all kind of just looking at each other a little bit, kind of j- just playing a friendly game. And um, the bartender looks up at you, and he's like, a little early for drinking, but what can I get you? Um, Actually, coffee do just fine. I'm... Um... Looking for my friend. He was in one of the rooms upstairs. Uh, oh, sorry, Father. I, I didn't see the vestments. Uh, a friend, you say? Uh, what, what's he look like? We had lots of folks here last night. The uh, the gambling man that was down here last night. Did you uh, happen to see him in here later last night or wandering out They're this morning? All gambling men. <laughs> which I, to which I was going to say... Well, any other night, I'd say that every man in here was a gambler man last night. But I think I know the one you're talking about because he had the look to him. If, uh, if it was my money, I wouldn't put my I wouldn't put my money down on the table. Not with a player like that. Yeah, he was here through most of the night. Um, settled in, we served him up some drinks, and uh, he set about to uh, pretty much taking everyone to to, to task. Uh, ran the big spenders out pretty quick, and then uh, started cleaning out the rest of them. Uh, those with any good sense kind of cleared out pretty early. Uh, it was about Three or four in the morning when I saw he left. Yeah, there was. Uh, some some guy, he looked like a miner, came in. He was still had his uh, work clothes on and everything. Uh, he came in and looking for him and uh, grabbed him, said something to him real frantic-like, and then uh, Gambler Man got up and left. Left in a real hurry. About four o'clock this morning, you say? Yeah, it was about four o'clock this morning, yeah. Hmm. And you ain't seen him back since? No, I can't say I have. I can't see all the way around the front side of the hotel, but uh, he definitely didn't come back through this way. Appreciate it. I'll slip a silver dollar on the bar for him and uh, oh, thank tell you, him sir. thank you. And uh, I'll go upstairs and kind of knock on Evan and, and uh, Tobias's door. Morning, lad. Did you sleep well? I did. Doesn't sound like Harley did much sleeping last night. He's gone and Harley disappeared. Get any sleep. He's gone and disappeared on us. Apparently one of the miners came early this morning and rounded him up and must have told him something that got him got him all riled up because him and the miner left. Ain't been back since. Doesn't even look like Harley ever even laid down in his bed. It's not hard to imagine. He's personally invested in this. Yeah, that's what's got me worried, is he might have run off and done something stupid. We may need As if yesterday him. wasn't stupid enough. I thought we were supposed to be lying low now. No, it doesn't sound, like, uh, doesn't sound like Harley's taking that to heart. I think we might need to go, uh, go see where he disappeared to. You're fading off a little bit there, Bill. Sorry. I was going to say, it doesn't sound like uh, Harley took the whole laying low thing to heart. We might need to uh, might need to go see what he's gotten himself into. If I had a dollar for every time <laughs> you had to do something like this. Like this? Am I Russian now? Like this? Hello. Hello, she's Russian. Uh... By the way, has anybody seen uh oh, crap? Davy Fett. Has anybody seen uh Davy? <laughs> huh. he, he was rowing with one of you dads. <laughs> just remembered. It, it just dawned on me. 
we're missing Matt tonight too. I have my own room. I don't know I where. I can't keep up with all your names. <laughs> so yeah, so Davy, yeah, you haven't seen Davy yet either. Um, you're you're not sure if Miss Klein had you know delivered breakfast to him before you. He was on the he was in the other direction, down the hallway before you, uh, a few doors down. So, um, you haven't seen him either. So we're missing we're missing Davy and Harley. I think we need to go find Harley. I think we need to head. Maybe to the mine and go see if we can figure out what it was that this miner, um, what what it was this miner told Harley that was so important that he left at four o'clock in the morning. Could it have been his brother? Like miner that came to get him, possibly. I guess. Yeah, like I said, That's, he's personally invested in all this stuff. So the question is: Is why did he leave without telling anybody? Yeah, that's what I say. I the only reason I even know this is because the barkeep saw it happen. So I don't know. Would the barkeep know who his brother was? His brother's a local, right? No. Well, maybe he might know the brother, but he wouldn't know that Harley is his brother. No, but I could ask him if he knew. I could. Go, we could go back and ask the bartender if he knows knows who the miner was that came in. You could definitely ask. Okay. This is a big city, though. I mean, there's there's over 13,000 okay. people here. All right. I didn't know. Small. But no, it, town. it doesn't hurt to ask. I'm not trying to discourage you. Yeah. Old West, small mining town. Everybody knows everybody. Didn't Where'd you go, Bill? Her, can't hear you. Not hear me? Did you lose me? I mean, we can hear you now. It's just you were talking, and we it was like... A, it's like something's auto adjusting and it fades you out. It just slowly goes and then you're gone. That's weird. Okay. I was just saying, I didn't know if this was like a small mining town where everybody knew everybody or if it was a big city where there's lots of people and, you know. Well, the picture looks pretty big. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Uh, you never know. Yeah, I guess that's true. The picture of Virginia City, it does look like a pretty big place. So It is technically called City. All right. That's fair. <laughs> All right. So the question is, is are we going to look for are we going to look for Harvey or are we going to look for Davy? I think we need to go look for Harvey. Har Har uh, Harley. Davy and Harley. We need to go look for Harvey. Harvey. Um we need to go look for Harley. Yeah, I th think we should also look for Harley. I trust Davy to stay low. I don't trust Harley to stay low. <laughs> I would tend to agree with Evan on that point. I don't think Harley has the capability of lying low. So. Well, he said he left at four o'clock this morning. If, if Harley was going to make a mess, he would have made it by now. <laughs> That's a fair point. Which means there's probably something wrong. He could have just gone on to bigger, better game. You might find him over at that saloon you we were at before. Dang it, now I'm adopting her accent. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um I gotta get back into character. Hold on a second. Go ahead. So you guys wanna head to the comp stock load? See if you can find out what's going on. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, I do think that asking the uh, the bartender homeboy what the miner looked like or if he knew the miner isn't a bad idea because then when we go to the Comstock, we can say, hey, such and such guy, we're looking for him. Okay. So uh, you go down to the, uh, you go back down to the saloon common room. And uh, same bartender's there uh, when you come down. And he looks up and he's like, morning, morning, father. Uh, you've got some friends with you. Can I get you any of you guys anything? I'll slide a silver dollar to him. Answering some questions would be nice. Well, it seems you're, you're lots asking a lot of that today. But uh, father already took care of me plenty. He slides your silver dollar back. What can I do for you? <laughs> 
The man left earlier. Our friend. You said he was contacted by a miner. Yes, sir. That's what I told the, the good father there. Did you know the man? Did you uh, know him? Well, I didn't know him personally. I may have seen him around once or twice. Uh, older gent. Uh, maybe in his uh, mid-40s. Uh, plenty of sand up in his hair. You know, salt up in his hair. Beard. Had a uh, uh, nice little scar down his cheek. Never did talk to him much, so I have no idea how he got it. But it, that's pretty distinct. Okay. I turned to my compatriots and said, does that sound like that's the not other Christopher. Fog? That's not Christopher Fogg, yeah. No. So, okay. maybe something happened to Christopher? Oh, I don't like this. I yeah, don't like this. Yeah, um, again, like, what would have made him run off without telling anybody? Um, I'd also like to ask the bartender, what about uh, what about the other one that was with us? The one they called, the one we called Davey. I never met anyone named, well, he no came one. in with us. Oh, I, I didn't see you when you came in, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> I work, we, work, we work long shifts here, but not quite that long. Um, all right. Thank you, kind sir. Have Welcome a good day. We must be on our way. Oh, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> I'm going to cry many times. Uh, all right. If you, if you want, go ahead and give me a smart check. All of us, or? All, yeah, all three of you can. Okay. Uh, Not yeah. I, said the Toby. Oh. Ooh, two, two rolls with raises there. So the description, <laughs> other than sounding like a minor, doesn't ring a bell to Tobias. Um, but with the tidbit about the scar... Uh, Brother Malachi and Evan, you do remember one of the gents you saw in the Miners Hall, Guild Hall, uh, actually having a scar that could be uh, what the uh, the bartender was describing. So if it is him, you think it may have been one of the miners from the hall who came in and, and grabbed Harley. Okay. Um, I tend to think Evan might be onto something, that maybe something happened to Christopher and this miner came in and told Harley and that's what I, I think that sounds like something that would make Harley run off mm, like that. Without telling us. Without telling us and without thinking that if something bad happened to Christopher. Mm -hmm. So I think we should Otherwise, go to I think we should go to the the miners hall and see if we can find this dude with the scar and see if we can talk to him and see what what it was he told Harley. I can care. I'll Blooming goose chase. Well, I mean, it is a bit of a goose chase, but that's all we've got to go on right now. Yeah, but it's it's still early in the day, which means the miners are already at work. So it kind of makes sense for us, instead of going to the mining hall, it probably makes more sense just to go straight to the Comstock. Uh, well, that's what we were uh, doing. Oh, I thought we were going to the mining hall. Well, I thought we were going to the Comstock. Yeah, you were going to the Comstock, and then Bill suggested going other, uh, elsewhere. So it, it's up to you guys which one you want to go to. Or I guess, you yeah. split the group up and do both. Um, There's only three of us. What do you mean split the party? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> um, actually, maybe that's not a bad idea. Maybe you guys head for the Comstock load, and I'll, I'll meet you there. I, I will meet you there. I'm just going to swing by the hall first. You'll meet us there until you get attacked by the undead like we did then. Why are the undead going to attack the miners hall? They did the last time we were there. It was a shotgun. I'm sure it'll be fine. In the middle of the day? Alright, whatever. Let's, let's... I mean, I don't mean to be the voice of reason, but... <laughs> Fine. We'll go to the Comstock load since, as Tobias pointed out, they're probably already all working, so... Thank you. And away the group goes. Yeah. Listening what? to the voice of reason and Tobias. <laughs> uh, you... You've only been here, you know, uh, a day or so, but uh, you, you've pretty much got a good lay of the land, so you easily find your way back to the Comstock load. Uh, it takes you about 45 minutes or so to walk across the, uh, the you know, Virginia City to find your way there. 
And uh, as you're walking up, um, you don't see any strike breakers, which doesn't surprise you after what just happened yesterday. I should probably put a big crater right here in the middle of the map. <laughs> there we go. I would like to inform everyone, I would like to say, just for reference, I didn't make that crater. <laughs> That's a Are they first. still young? Are they still young? Uh, you only see a single miner uh, out front, walking back and forth. He's got a picket sign in his hand, and he's like, Fair wages! Good living! We deserve it! Fair wages! Good living! We deserve it! <laughs> What do we want? More picketers. <laughs> <laughs> you see the crater that was left behind by Harley, and you see the uh, the big boss man that you saw before. Looks like a couple of the thugs, or maybe these are some new thugs, have wandered back, and the the, uh, the boss man is there talking to a police officer. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I couldn't can find, we... I couldn't find another cop picture quicker, okay. so... Can we kind of hang back and not, like, approach, kind of, um, you know, kind of stay back, not approach, wait for the, uh, for the police officer to leave? Yeah. Um, so you want to do that without being noticed. So let's go ahead and have you do a uh, stealth and check. And you guys are all over it today. Tobias? Oh, we lost. Dax turned into the invisible man. <laughs> it was a group check. Evan and I made it, which yeah, means you, it doesn't really which means it doesn't really matter if Unless Dax makes it. Absolutely botched it, yeah. Yeah. And he did. My uh my uh did my eyebrows this morning uneven, and now it permanently looks like I'm confused. <laughs> you, yeah, it does look like you're, or like kind of like Spock. You're like, like Captain Kirk just said something really dumb, like he does mm -hmm. all the time, <laughs> and Spock's like, mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't do that. I can't do the rock thing. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't do it like you can. I've never been able to do that. So yeah, the, the group hangs back. <laughs> I kind of wish that was on camera being recorded. <laughs> I was sitting here going... <laughs> Crunching my nose. Uh, All right. So we hang back and wait for the cop to 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 leave. Yeah, you, you hang back. And uh, after a while, you notice they, they stop talking. You know, the cop has his notepad there. He's writing notes down. And he flips it. And he says a few parting words. And then uh, you see him, you know, work his way around the crater and then disappear. He crosses the tracks and uh, disappears into the rest of the town. And uh, when he does, uh, you see the two thugs come up, and they, they move the gate back in place in front of the Comstock load. Okay. Um, uh, you do hear him yell as he's moving away, and he's like, No one gets to that gate. Not the miners. Not anyone without my word. Unless it's one of the Comstocks. I don't want to hear it. Okay. So the two guys that move the gate back, they're like standing They're there. Uh standing guard now? Yep, they're, they're standing guard at the gate, yeah. Okay. Bollocks. Well? Do we want to go... Good living! We deserve it! <laughs> the, the one guy is still standing out there picketing. Yeah, there's always that one guy. Is Homeboy in front of the fence or behind it? Oh, he's probably in front of it. They wouldn't let him in. Oh, yeah. They? Uh, here, he's just east of you. If you look right over there. You guys are like on a map that I'm not on. I'm still seeing. Uh, yeah, I reloaded. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I was moving around tokens. I was animating things. And I didn't <laughs> even put you on the map to see it. I am very sorry. Oh. You, well, you can enjoy it when you watch the video. <laughs> if you ever watch the video. <laughs> All right. So, sorry. Okay. So, you, you didn't even get to see the cop, All right. You? So, this... No. No. I oh didn't. my gosh. I, I wondered why no one said anything. Here, let me put the cop back up so you can see him. <laughs> this is the only okay. picture of a cop I could find on short notice. <laughs> is that 
<laughs> that did, that's uh oh what's the guy's name? Uh, Channing, Channing Tatum. Tatum. Channing Tatum. Huh? Channing Tatum, that's right. So yeah, Channing Tatum was on the other side of the bars. <laughs> <laughs> the boss was there. The thugs were there. They're all talking to him, and this guy was just moving back and forth. Fair wages, good living. We deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. I was sitting there playing the whole time. I was walking him around and whatnot. Yeah, I feel like a dummy. All right. <laughs> all right. So. All right. So yes, to answer your question, yes, the miner is outside. The uh, the Comstock load, you know, facility there. Okay, so as long as we don't show our faces to the guys who are guarding the thing, make sure if we can. Now that I can see the map her back. see the situation, how tall is that wall? Good question. So the uh, the wall here with the rebar and, and the the concrete and whatnot, uh, that's about a, a nine ten foot tall wall. Wonder if we could. Uh, um, hmm, okay. Uh, I'll ask the, I'll, where the guys guarding the fence are, I want to make sure that they can't see me. So I'll kind of be over here up on the other side of the wagon. Okay. Um, and I'll. This is a wagon, right? It's not like a stagecoach. <laughs> yeah. It is. This is a wagon, right? This is not a stagecoach, right? Um,. Yes, I probably I'll be over here on the wagon. other side of the wagon, um, and I'll kind of look at the guy picketing, and um, I'll be like, Psst, "Hey, buddy, over over here for a second, over here." Uh, he kind of he does notice you after a minute, and kind of looks back and walks over your way. It's like, uh, I, I give him one of these. I'm like, Shh. "Oh," he walks over and he's like, uh, "What can I do for you, Padre?" Uh, I want to see if maybe you can do me a favor. I reach in my pouch and pick out a little silver dollar and, and kind of slide it his way. I'm like, wonder if you could do me a favor. Oh, no, I can't take your money, sir. No, please. Uh, go over there by that gate where those two uh, fellers are, are, are guarding the gate. Pick it a little closer to them. Be a little louder. Kind of get their attention. Make sure they're paying attention to you. Not that I mind doing such a thing. Uh, I ain't got no no favor for those Comstock thugs over there. But uh, you look good to cause some trouble, sir. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Uh, <laughs> just want to make sure that they know that you need fair wages and, and better working conditions. They they need to be very aware of that. I, I think the more you pick it in their face, the, the better chance they'll hear what you got to say. I'll slide them another silver dollar and tell them for the cause. All right, give me a persuasion check, Bill, and get a plus two bonus to that. All right. Uh, so as long as you don't want anything but a... There you go. There's a 12. 12, perfect. He looks at it, you know, he takes a silver dollar and bites it, shines the coins <laughs> off and puts them in his pocket. Then you got, you got one distraction coming right up, sir. Fair Much obliged. Ranges. Fair good living. Forgot the words. We're picketing. <laughs> We're picketing. <laughs> We're making noise. Now, well, he's he got those you guys. You do notice he starts walking back and forth with his picketing sign and and like starts, you know, like slats, like start banging against the, the gate and whatnot. <laughs> back and forth. Like in the prison, running the cup across the bar. This, you can't stop. They're like, yeah, baby, get on out here, mister. He's like, this may not be union, but I got rights. This is a democracy here in Virginia City. I can pick it if I want to. Fair wages, better living. Well, we got rights. Well, you got him distracting those guys. Over the pit. <laughs> he can fly now. He's, he's walking up and down it. He's yeah. walking down it and back up it. Walking down it, back up. It. Um, while he's distracting the guys at the gate, uh, I look at, at Tobias and and Evan. I'm like, now's our chance. Let's see if we can. Hop this wall and, and get inside. See what's going on. Do I look like an acrobat to you? Do I? I'm a preacher, but the, the guy's distracted. We'll push the wagon over. We'll climb up the wagon. We'll use the wagon and climb up the fence. All right. Uh, give me an athletics check. Christ almighty. All of us? Yeah, all of you can do it. 
You need two successes to move that wagon. This is not going to go well. There you go. I got a 10. Yeah, I think Brother Malachi just did it. Or, <laughs> yeah, he just, good Lord, just invested him in with the might of the Lord. <laughs> and as you go to help, you're like, oh, I don't want to be moving a wagon today. Brother Malachi there. just kind of heaves. <laughs> there. You got a four. You got a four. You're fine. Oh, jeez. Don't. Yeah, Evan and I got it moved. We got this. She got oh, yeah. a four. A couple times because it wasn't showing up and that happened. <laughs> All right, so you get the wagon pushed over. All right, which is going to make it real easy for you to get over that wall. Because uh, the wall, like I said, is only 8 to 10 feet tall. It's, it's kind of a rough wall, so it's a little bit shorter and taller in places. Uh, but the wagon's got to be, what, like at least 5 feet tall itself, you know, 4 or 5 right. feet tall. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing for you to reach over, and there's plenty of handholds. So you guys pull yourself over the edge and drop on the other side. So this cool. one's... What's that on top of the wall? It looks like a body or something? No, as you get up there, I'm glad you asked, uh, oh, okay. you see a skull sitting there, and there's kind of the, this raven sitting right next to it, and it kind of, you'd think the raven would fly off right away, but it kind of looks at you and cocks its head, and just seems to be staring at you. So that doesn't sound natural. I'm making a cult roll? Yeah, go for it. Or a knowledge nature check. Or, if you don't have either of those, you can just make it. Oh! That's not good. There's a pretty birdie. <laughs> Doesn't some bad happen on a double one? Why would you encourage him, Bill? <laughs> yeah, that's... Lawful, that. ne lawful neutral. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a snake, guys. Uh, this ain't nothing but a bird. Uh, someone must have uh, left a bit of meat up here, and the birds just interested in it. Ravens are known to keep an eye on humans. They're they're not the smartest of birds. They're always staring at them. Is the occult uh, skill something you? It would, you'd have to have knowledge occult. Yeah, okay. if you don't have uh, knowledge occult, you can make a knowledge nature check, or you can make a common knowledge. It is a success. I mean, it's it's I, I I know this isn't normal. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I know it's not normal. Yeah, as as much as as Tobias in so in so you're not talking right now, but in Tobias's head, like just a raven. They're dumb. They stare at people. Let's keep going. Brother Malachi looks at it and is like, "This just I've never seen a bird sit that close and that calm." Uh, and you do remember it's it's vague because you only had one success, but uh, you do remember a little bit of lore. Uh, and this would definitely be Harley's area. If, if he was here, you, you know he probably would know this a lot better than you. Um, but uh, people who use dark magic, because you face a lot of dark, ma dark magic users, witches and wizards and things. Um, most more than not, not called wizards, they're called hucksters. Um, but uh, if someone knew the right uh, incantation, uh, they could use a raven to stare through the eyes of the creature and use the, uh, the beast to, to spy on people. Now, you're not sure if that's what's going on here, but that raven... Roll 20 turned against me. Kill it. Well, the only thing I got to kill it with is a gun, and I don't want to bring that kind of attention. Snap, snap. <laughs> um, Anyone carrying a, a knife or something? I'm not, actually. I was just looking at my inventory, and I'm not. All I have is my shotgun. Um, I mean, it's not just gonna fly away. Grab it and snap its neck. You could try. Can that. I can I grab the bird and try to snap its neck? Give me a fighting check. Uh, you go to grab the bird, and it hops out of the way and like hops a few feet down the wall and turns around and just stares at you again. Yeah. That's yeah. Not that's definitely that definitely ain't natural. Somebody's somebody's keeping an eye on us. I I relay this information to the party that we are probably being watched. Somebody knows what we're doing. I can't put some No, no, you're already here, Dex. 
Say again? No, you're that's better. You. Yeah, that's better. We didn't hear your last. Oh, I was saying that um, I was saying that I kicked myself for not noticing it when Bill or excuse me, when Brother Malachi noticed it. Um, of course, of course. Kind of ruffles its feathers. You see it, you know, picks a little something out of its feathers and it goes back to watching you. Uh, let me see if I can use my Holy Warrior on it. I was just going to throw a rock at it, but sure, I like your idea better. Alright, so yeah, go and give me your... Uh, your it, it, assuming it's evil. Yeah, go and give me your spirit check. Your, uh... I'm no, sorry. you make a you make a spirit check. Didn't we realize last time you make a faith check at a certain level? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, shoot, my book's downstairs. I forget how that works now. Um, so it's at a. Isn't it at a novice level, or was that a different ability? Hold on. Let me. I've. I think I've got a PDF of my dead of my. I have the Deadlands book. It's in the Savage Worlds. It's in the Savage Worlds book. I don't have a PDF of the Savage Worlds book. I've got the book open. What are you looking for? Uh, Holy Warrior. The Holy Warrior Edge. So, looks like... Here we go. Blessed. Faith, Rangers Bible, Christ's Faith, New Edges. Okay. No, that's correct. So, yes. Blessed with Holy Warrior Edge. Activated at the novice rank. So that special, uh, the one you set up for the faith check at novice on your character yep. sheet? Yeah, go ahead and throw that one out. Okay. That's a Dang. success. Barely. That's yeah. a pretty crappy roll. Yeah. <laughs> Not as crappy as a snake eyes. Uh, so the power of the Lord just flows to your body and emanates out around you. And the, uh, the raven kind of hops back a little bit, kind of shakes his head, and uh, shakes off the effect, but you just see it jump off the wall, and it swoops, and then start, you know, as it starts flapping its wings, it flies across the street on the other side of the, uh, the train tracks, and you see it take roost up on top of a building up on the other side. Okay. And it kind of ducks into the eaves over there, over there. Well, at least we scared it off. Shall we continue? Yeah. Yeah, right about now you notice the uh, the miners uh, starting to lose the attention of the thugs. They're, they're getting yep. bored with his antics. We better get down off the wall and get behind these barrels here for the miner, before the guards get a look at us. Um, on the back side of that building right here, kind of in the back side there, yep. do we see any... I know the map doesn't go off that way. Do we see any entrances to the building or any windows or anything on the back side of the building there? Yeah, there's there's windows. You see windows on this side, and you do some spots of windows over there as well. Uh, uh, you can't see a door from your angle, uh, but there might be one there. You definitely see a door on the front of the building over here. Well, but the, that would be through the open, open area. Uh, well, the guards are still... Distracted really quick. I want to stealth my way over to the back of the building. All right, everyone who's moving over there, give me a stealth check. So that is one success. Good roll. It's got to roll better now. That was an ace, actually. All right. Well, Evan didn't stealth, but that, but Tobias and I did. Yeah, I've got. So, a, I'm, I'm. I'm actually humming my own theme song as I do it. <laughs> so yeah, that's done. That's done. 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 Yeah. So as Evan starts to move, she realizes that she's making a lot of noise. Uh, did you want to use a Benny, Jess? You could use just a white one and re-roll that, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you all have white. One. I don't think any other color got rolled out this time. I would. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure there weren't. That's odd to get all white, but it can happen. It's offsetting last time we played when I had like a pile of blues. <laughs> yeah. So what you do to use your bennies is uh, yeah. if, if you just oh. click on the bottom, you'll see it, the fate ship expand. 
You can grab mm -hmm. the chip you want to uh, you want to spend and just hey. throw, it, throw it out on the table. Okay. Actually, when I click on that, I have a red and a white. Do you? When I click on it. So do I. Do you? I only see white for some reason. Yeah, when I, I click see. on when I click on Evans, I see two whites. When I click on Tobias's, I see two whites. But when I click on my on mine, I see a red and a white. Yeah, doing. I've got a red and a white, but when I click on Dad's and Tobias's, it's just two whites. That's really weird. That is weird. I see a red and a red and a blue when I click on. Uh, when oh. I click on. Uh, you know what? I think I know what's doing that. Uh, How do I turn them off? Okay, found it. Click on them again. Yeah. I was hovering over the panic button. So what do we have then? Okay, I fixed it. You should all be able. You should all see. I was. I accidentally had it like a uh, a playing hand in poker, so you were seeing your own hand, but not the other people's hands. They were seeing the generic white back of the chip. So what you actually have is Tobias has a blue and a red. Uh, Brother Malachi has a red and a white, and Evan has a red and a white. Okay, so that's if, what I'm seeing now. So Jess, if you wanted to spend that red to get rid of it to do a reroll, I would not get a chip from that. Or you could just spend the white and roll and add to it, right? No, you need a blue to add to. Only blue and red can add to it. So a white is just a total reroll. Just a reroll, right. I'd do the I'd just do the white cuz why spend the red to totally reroll when you can spend the white to totally reroll? True, but if she uses the red to add to, that's when I get more chips. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, I forgot to deal with the three chips. I gave myself. I didn't use them. Yeah, but Evan I, should have three. Only Dax and I are the only ones. There. Yeah, she I just, just put my thingy out. Yeah, she oh, just okay. she just spent one. All right, so you're spending a white. You're gonna totally reroll. Yep, go for your reroll and a success. Awesome. So we all sneak over. Yep. So you all sneak over, and uh, there's a moment there where Evan thinks she's going to get caught, but she, she darts behind the building just as the thugs turn back around and kind of give the miners some space because they're, they're bored with his, his shenanigans. And then the miner, uh, he kind of noticed you disappearing, so he goes back to draw attention away and goes back to where he was picketing at before along the, the train tracks. So yeah, so now that you're on the back side of the building... Uh, you, you see a couple windows here, and glancing through the windows, uh, they've got curtains, but the curtains are pulled back. Uh, you see what looks like an, in this area, this side. Uh, there's an office room. There's a couple small shelves with some, some books on them. And you see a rather rickety-looking desk with a, a ledger and some other writing utensils on the desk. Uh, but the, that room is empty. Um, there's two windows in, into that room there. A little bit farther down, you actually do see a door that goes into the building. Uh, there, but it doesn't. But the door doesn't go into the room that we can see. No, in the room you can see a door on this wall. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't know why I'm just clicking. Let me do some freehand. <laughs> so there's a wall here. See a door down here, and along here are a couple windows. Okay. Of how every game session has also been like a tutorial on how to use Roll20. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we've been using it for years, but we seem to learn new stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah, like like Control L that nobody told me about. <laughs> so these windows. Oh, it's a DM tool. Oh, okay. Um, what's what's down in these windows down here? When we look down here. So you look through these windows, and here I'll show them to you. You see a long room that runs the full length of the building, and you see the boss man. There, there's a like a small desk. Let me get my drawing tools again. Red is for furniture. There's a desk here. You see a couple of benches, and like a chair here, and you see the boss man who was out there earlier, and uh, he's got a pipe in his hand. That's the other red thing because I drew an extra square, and he's just kind of walk around and pacing, and. Uh, Got a concerned look on his face, but he's got his, his pipe pulled out. It looks like he's stuffed some fresh tobacco into it and lit it up. And he's just kind of pacing back and forth. Um, those signs, those signs are hard. 
We lost that... you again, Bill. I said... So no signs of Harley? No, you don't see Harley in this building at all. Okay. Um, Through the window, you do see a couple more windows on this side, and a window on this side, and a door over there. But he's the, uh, but that's the only person occupying this building that we can see. That you can see, yeah. And you got through the windows. I mean, they're not closed. You get a pretty good view of this building. You, you can't imagine where anyone would be hiding in here, unless they were up in the up in the rafters. But actually, no. Knowing Old West con construction, those would be open, so you can actually see up into the rafters, and those are clear as well. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel safer going in this window on this side room here. Well, I don't know that we even want to go in. We're looking for Harley. If yeah. Harley's not in this building, then let's sneak over to one of the other buildings and see if we can find Harley over there. Before we do that, did anyone keep track of the bird? Uh, the bird went across, like, the across the street on the other side of the train tracks. Good. So, all right. Well, I guess I'll. Um, I'd like to keep a lookout for that bird. Now that you know, try to redeem myself for completely blowing past it. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna move around the other side of the building. Is that what your plan is? Yeah. So plan is to. Uh, Plan is to move around to the back side of the building here, carefully, like, ducking under the windows so that the boss man can't see us passing by the windows, obviously. Okay. Yeah, no check required. That's that's pretty easy. Um, and then, um, hmm, guys aren't distracted anymore. Um, and I yeah, don't have... Which way are they facing? I mean... Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Anybody carrying anything like a mirror or anything so we can, you know, mirror around the corner to see when their faces are turned. When they're turned so we can run across to the other building. Uh, no, nothing that... Uh, Anybody got gotcha. anything in, the, in their gear that would work for something like that? I know what I'll do. Um... <laughs> I'll take the cross off from around my neck and polish it up real good and see if I can, like, kind of hold the cross out and Actually, see before you do that, I've also got a Bowie knife here that might be able to, uh, my is, is my knife shiny enough? That's the question. Uh, yeah. Standard. Yeah, you keep your equipment in good center. So you, you can use the, the cross or you could use the knife for that. Uh, Go ahead so and use your knife. See if you can see when their backs are turned, we'll... We'll take a we'll take a a dash across to the um to the other to the next building. What would that be? A notice check, maybe? Uh, no, actually, I'm going to have you give me an agility check to an try. Agility. And, yep, trying to use the knife to reflect the sunlight where you want it to go. Now, let me ask you this too, Mike. What's behind us? Like back? Is that like the mine further yeah. back there? Yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I, I didn't build it because I didn't think it would come into play. But what what's behind you is a little bit. Be, so between these buildings is a path, uh -huh. and it goes like maybe 30, 40 feet, and then you see you know all the wood construct like you see outside of a mine, right. and then you see this huge mine uh, going in. None of the workers are. I mean, there's no workers. There's no miners in here right now. So there's there's no one back there working. So it's pretty quiet. Okay, that that was gonna be my question: is is there like miners and stuff behind us who would like see us sneaking around and and be like, hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah, there's if nobody this was a normal behind. day. Yeah, definitely. If it was a normal day, why is it not a normal day? Because the miners are on strike. We came here because we thought all the miners would be working here. We we're looking for Harley and looking for the miner with the scar. That's what you said, but I knew as the marshal that the miners were still striking. Got it. Cool. So we probably... Okay. But Harley may still be here. I think that notion, was, that notion was not off. If, if Harley had come here, Harley may be here. You never know. Okay. So the yellow squares you just drew on that other building, those are windows. The red square is a door. Yep. Okay. 
All right. Didn't all right. I, uh... So you okay? So yeah. So I assume like you're projecting the light upon the wall up here. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you 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 know you get the light flashing, and yeah, sure enough, both it doesn't take long. Both of the thugs catch a glimpse of it. And they're like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> they're like cats. <laughs> all right, give me your stealth check <laughs> to move across quickly. Yeah, I'm I'm signaling. I'm telling them to go first. So get get get. Mother trucker. You're not doing a good job of sneaking today, Evan. Oh, do you want to spin one of those bennies? <laughs> oh, Tobias at least got a four. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty sad when you're using... You said, uh, we, even Tobias can do it, Evan. <laughs> I think you have to, Jess. If we get caught, this could get ugly. Yeah. We could always just let it get ugly. <laughs> I mean, we can. At some point, yeah. I mean, at some point, we can let it get ugly and just... Yeah. We could, or we could just tell Evan, you know, like, see those guys over there? They're calling a stagecoach to pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The Benny. <laughs> you, you spent it, didn't you? Yeah, she yeah. spent it, and it didn't go any better for her the second time. You know what? It's pants, okay? I'm not used to them. They make more noise than my old ones. All right, so <laughs> different so material. Evan's, yeah, she as she's halfway across the divide, like uh, now you do have a choice, Evan. You have one more Benny if you want to spend it. Otherwise, you can save it. It's up to you. No, I'll save it. Okay. Uh, so it's about to get ugly. <laughs> some of your some of your tools actually. Well, Tobias made it across. Tobias should be on the other side with me. Except he told you guys to go first. So he's not been seen yet. He's still okay. hidden, but he hadn't gone across yet. So uh, one of your larger wrenches comes loose from your toolkit. And, <laughs> and you thought you swore you had that, that uh, you know, secured. But something must have happened, you know, crossing the wall or something. Uh, the, the huge wrench comes out and just thuds hard into the ground. And suddenly the two uh, thugs turn around and spin. And you see both of them drawing their pistols. Let's roll some initiative. Alex. Alex. Dang. Or let's draw okay. some cards. Yeah let's, they, yeah, let's draw some cards. Yeah. They straight up just pulled their guns. Straight up pulled their guns. Okay. So, just. So the way uh, in roll twenty, of course, I will deal the cards to you. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then, and remind me so I don't forget this time that we re deal the cards between every. Every t round. Right. All right. So what I'm going to do is end a round. Redeal. What? Why didn't you show me? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now I see it. All right. So I'll know to redeal, and I'll put that at the end of the round each round. Okay. So Tobias is first. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing I forgot. Well, Tobias okay. is first anyway. You get a second card. Uh, did you even want the second card right now, Dax? Um, I mean, you're already what? first. I don't know how much better yeah. it can yeah. get. You're the ones that yeah. gain, so you're first or first. Okay, well, then if this doesn't work, then I'll uh, I'll move over to uh, I'll, I'll move over to where Evan is at, and I'll start yelling at her. Hopefully that I can pull this off to where I look like I have some authority saying Oi, quit dropping your stuff get back in the mine and fix that damn contraption and I'll look over at the at the other two guys and say, it's alright lads I've got this Hey, maybe uh, <laughs> with authority and confidence I yell, hey, oi uh, <laughs> give me a persuasion check and you're going to be minus two to this roll <laughs> Okay, well, if it doesn't work, I still got my quick draw. If, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not enough. Uh, the one, he's got his pistol trained on me. He's like, Oi, you don't work here. Who are you? They start moving towards you. Drop your weapons! So, okay. uh, that was one action. What what else would you like to do? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, he's not moving yet. It's not his turn. <laughs> At which point I'll say... Uh, oh, oh actually, bloody hell. I'm sorry, you did move and do that. Okay, so I'm sorry, that actually was your turn. Okay. Alright, so Stop. Brother Malachi on the Jack of Hearts. 
Um, I want to very quietly... Let's see. Um, I forget. Speed in this game, is it just 30 feet? What is it? Pace. Uh, it's pace of six. So six squares. Pace. Six squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to very quietly move around the building. Um, I'm going to try to come up behind them. As they come forward, my plan is to maybe come up behind them and, you know, do one of the, okay, drop drop your weapons. I got I got a bead on you kind of deal. Okay. So, so I'm moving really quietly around to the back corner of the building. Okay, go ahead and give me a stealth check. And you're gonna you're gonna have a plus two advantage on this. Okay. Yeah, so that makes it a success because you're on the other okay. side of the building. Yep. So <laughs> I'm glad I said that before the roll popped out in because <laughs> then it would seem like anyway. Alright. So thud oh I need to put a color on this. I haven't put the uh, number macro in. Yeah. I actually found a... Uh, I started working with that last night, and I found something about that macro I don't like. Oh, yeah? So, let's say you're doing a whole big well, cave full t- of... Tell me after the fight. Okay. But we'll put a note. We'll put a pin in that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And... Uh, He's got the gun trained on you, but when he moves up, uh, you can tell this one's not inclined to shoot if he doesn't have to. And he kind of he he starts he takes aim at Tobias uh, of the two of you there. So he's aiming as his action, and he yells, uh, "Oi! I said he said drop your weapons." Uh, the other one moves closer as well. He's like, "You heard him. We ain't gonna tell you again." Evan. Does he know I have weapons? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you weren't hiding them. You were packing the heat. Hey, so they don't look like they want to shoot. One yeah, they, de- they haven't opened up fire yet. They're, tr- they're trying to get you to back down. What was that? I just want to blow him up, though. That's what Evan wants to do. She can do that. And blow him up. <laughs> yeah, as Harley showed you, it's totally a, a, it's totally <laughs> on the table. <laughs> the game is fast and I'm, furious for a reason. I have my I have my total amount of power points now, right? Since yes. we like yep. rested. Okay. You absolutely do. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna blow him up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna blow him up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna use, homicide sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna use two power points so I can hit both of them. That okay. I can do that, right? Yes, you can. Okay. And so, do I just roll twice? Uh, yes, roll twice. Since you're doing a multi-action, you're going to be minus two to each. Okay. And we'll just factor that in. Oh, still two hits. So that was one into each of them? Yeah. Yep. So roll damage for both. Is that not rolled? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so first one. Okay. And second one. Ooh, much better on the second one. All right, so let me check the toughness. Uh, the the first one you catch, and because he was watching, he was aiming, so he was watching pretty close. So as soon as your 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 you know your gizmo, your super hand cannon of death came out, he kind of went to move just a little bit, and the blast kind of caught him across the shoulder, and he winced hard. But you can tell he's pretty tough, and it wasn't quite a full on blast. But his buddy. Uh, it hits him full in the chest and uh, completely shakes him. Because that one passed. His toughness is, just so you're aware, his toughness is five. Okay. And uh, with that, I say, why don't you drop your weapon, huh? I don't think you want to get another one of those. All right. Let's deal some cards. Listen, lad.
Uh, all right, well, that one's shaken, and he's going first. So uh, first thing he has to do is make a spirit check, which he failed. He is still shaken. And so all he, he only gets one action. He kind of turns and uh, starts running for the gate. <laughs> All right, Brother Malachi is next. I... Did I get my second action card? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Thank you for the reminder. No, uh, thank you for the exact wow. same card. <laughs> a two and a two. I'm going to go on two. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Deadlands deck giveth and the Deadlands deck taketh away. Roll 20 giveth. <laughs> so I come around... The building, and um, and like cock my shotgun and point it, point it, yeah, and everybody hears that. <laughs> everybody always hears when I cock the shotgun, um, and point it at the back of number one, and I'm like, um, the good Lord might forgive you, but I sure as hell don't. You better drop that firearm right about now, son. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> he he. The two of you can see him because he's looking at you. I mean, he he just got partially blasted. He's a little bit messed up from Evan. You see his eyes go wide as he turns around and sees Brother Malachi. You see him kind of. He puts his hands up in the air. And he takes the one gun out. And he drops the pistol out of his hand and just puts his hands up and drops down to his knees. He's like, I ain't dying today. He puts his hands, crosses his fingers, puts them on top of his head. Okay. Uh, oh, and that was his turn. He, he is surrendering. So, Evan, your turn. I'm talking to number one. I tell him to get his friend. Get your friend! Uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Jimmy! Jimmy, get your ass back here! <laughs> <laughs> I've got... I kind of spin the shotgun and, and pointed it at number two as well. I walk Go. up. Grab I'm his behind, gun. I'm behind number one. I walk up behind number one. And I just kind of... I just kind of, like, get it ready. You know? It kind of it kind of wells in my hand. And I'm just standing behind him. Just menacingly. Uh, Jimmy stops, looks back at his friend, and he's like, Oh, damn it, Timmy. What the hell the hell do you have to <laughs> Timmy and Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> you brought this on yourselves, guys. For those names, <laughs> uh, he's still sh he's still shaking, uh, but you see him kind of take his pistol and drop it to the side, and then slowly meander back towards you with his hands up in the air. I still got both barrels trained on him. You hear him mumbling, "What in the hell's a preacher doing with a shotgun?" <laughs> <laughs> um, are we still in initiative, no, or you're out of initiative? You've got control of the situation. Okay. So I kind of come up on them and I'm like, "Get their, get their firearms, Evan." I uh, I let the, I let the energy go before I gather up the guns. My right. pocket up. Now, now, you boys are gonna be nice and quiet. You're gonna cooperate. You're gonna tell us what we want to know. Just uh, on the, you know, for for what Tobias is doing, he's covering this door. Right. Meow. Just in case the commotion got the big boss man to come outside. I'm going to okay. cover the door. Wait for him. Just so you know, that's a window. So the one up top is... I know I messed around with my colors. That one's a window. And the door is up here. So you you can still do that. Just move up and cover the door. There we go. Roger that. Sounds good. Good call. Yeah, Evan's weapon is is mighty effective and, and mighty loud too. <laughs> so as I was saying, Timmy and Jimmy kind of look at each other, <laughs> and the one that's not shaking, Timmy, he's like, "What do you want to know?" We're looking for a fella. Maybe you've seen him around here uh, this morning, or or early early the early this morning, or or uh, last night. See, lots of and then I'll, I'll describe uh, 
describe Harley. You know. Oh, you're talking about that huckster, aren't you? The one yeah, the up, one that left that big our... hole out in front of your gate. You see him sneaking around here last night? He wasn't doing no sneaking when we when we dragged him in here. And uh, Jimmy's like, shut up, man. Take the fire out of your voice. They got guns on us. They're going to shoot us. Jimmy kind of looks a little abashed. He's like, we dragged your friend in here last night. We, uh, Marshall was looking for him and they weren't having no luck. So we, we kind of set a trap. Uh, went and found his brother, who was much easier to, uh, his brother Christopher. We took him in, made sure some of the miners saw us. Uh, they ran off. And that Harley man, uh, that huckster came looking for him. We jumped him. Uh, he, he started tossing his cards around and blowing things up, but there was too many of us. We dragged him back oh, here. He kind of motions over to the building next year. Uh, we we tied him up in there and got the best of him. Give him, give, he looks like he's about to brag a little bit, and then kind of pulls back a little bit. We roughed him up, and uh, that's when the witch took him. Is he still in there, or did the witch take him somewhere else? She took him somewhere else. Where? She and her uh, boys and those those ladies she calls her followers, they got, they got a place outside of the city, a hideout. This man, I'll, I'll tell you where it is. I've only been there once or twice. I'll tell you how to get there as long as you let us go. Kind of looks back at the building, looking to see if the boss is seeing what's going on or not. It's um, good, but not enough to die for this. I don't take too kindly to people taking advantage of other people's families. Harley, his brother, they are my family now. Yeah? I don't take too kindly to you messing with my family. You see two very visible gulps. <laughs> All right. So where'd you take him? Where, where'd she take him? Where's this place? And he describes to you, if you head northeast out of the city, uh, you'll find uh, there's a couple main roads. So if you go like a quarter mile north of the roads, you'll find a path that heads up to a small uh, cannon cliff-like area on the northeast side of the mountain range. And they've got a, uh, a hideout. They built themselves like a fort almost out of wood. They built up to the edge of one of those cliffs. And he gives you uh, the directions on the, the game trails and whatnot to get there. Hmm. Well, I say we uh, tie these boys up, throw them in that building, and head on over to see if we can get our friend back. Who would tell anyone we came here? All righty. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you got our word. We won't tell a soul. All right. The uh, as you drag the two men into the building here, uh, it's it, you can tell it's a it's a storage shed, and um, in the middle of the room there's a chair there with some ropes kind of laying around. It looked like they'd been tied around someone, but they'd made they'd been cut, and. On, on the ropes and also splattered around the ground, you see blood all over the place. Yeah, they really worked hardly over. As you know, Am I in the room with them when this is happening? Yeah, just, I, I, I assumed you all kind of took them in yeah, to, yep. to tie them up. Lead them in there and tie them up. I reach into my coat and I pull out a pair of brass knuckles and I say, um, I'm the new one. I'm the new guy here. But, uh, like the last said, they're family. And I'll start working over one of them. Just pick one. <laughs> Just pick so one. So they're already tied up at this point. So, yeah, yeah. Jimmy or Timmy, you don't even remember which at this point. <laughs> but th that Timmy, one, Timmy, doesn't really matter. That one's left a bloody mess. You know, he's, he's got, really got a tooth. Or, you know, both of his eyes are swollen shut. You, you leave one. He's still got a tooth, but it's kind of hanging. It's dangling. Do, do Timmy, because I, I sh shook up Jimmy. <laughs> so why don't you shake up Timmy, and they'll both Actually, be Actually, I'm just going to, I'm going to get the one that was doing most of the talking. The one that was almost bragging about it. That was, that's that good. was Timmy. Okay. So, yeah. And I reach, I, I lean in close. You've got a big mouth, boy. And then, yeah, I'll do my, wata, wata. Tobias gives him a good working over, and uh, the two men are left tied Oh, I didn't up. know about this lad before, but I like him now. Brings a tear of joy to my face. That actually makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
I, I turn around, look at uh, Evan, offer her the brass knuckles. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. And with them watching, I'll be like, oh, and I reach for the knife instead. You want this. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as much fun as it is working over old uh, Jimmy and Timmy here. Yeah, I know. I was... Might I remind you guys that Harley is being held by some kind of witch. I'm sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Cool. The, the, room, the room is being smell, filled with the smell of urine right about this moment, too. <laughs> You're not sure which one it was, Jim or Timmy, but one of them took a tinkle <laughs> in their pants. <laughs> which one? Please now remember, if anyone there. asks you what happened. <laughs> I fell down the stairs. <laughs> stairs at the mine? They were big stairs. <laughs> Good All right. All right. So how, how's your group? Are you, are you just heading back out the gate? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's no one watching the gate. No one watching the oh, gate. Oh, true. We'll Good just, point. Yeah. We'll just uh, just head on out. Head on out the gate. Get our go round up our horses and ride out to this hideout. All right. Round up my horse. Mine fits neatly into a little cube, and I. Can just <laughs> <laughs> she summons a horse. Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, where'd they go? I got him here. I know I got him here. There she is. I just... I, I would like it if she didn't even, like, gallop like an actual horse. She just had ghost-powered feet, and they just hovered, and she okay. just hovered. <laughs> <laughs> They're like tank tread. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'll give you a for that. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry, I forgot I have to deal it. So deal one to Evan. There you go. Woo-woo! All right, so yeah, you uh, 45 minutes back to the hotel. You retrieve your horses, and the three of you set out. Um, true to his word, under duress, uh, you do find the uh, the trails and the game trails that he had mentioned um, that were north of the road, no going northeast out of town. And um, it's coming on midday, so you, you take the trails, and they start winding around the mountain on the northeast side. Um, as you get farther on that side, the, the wind or the mountain starts blocking some of the wind, and the heat picks up on the side, so... Sweat starts beating on you and whatnot as you're moving along. And um, the only real sounds are the, the sound of the clop-clop of the, the hooves and then the <laughs> of, of Jess's horse. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you find your way. Here, actually, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, up in the distance, uh, it starts turning to dark rock on the other side. And I'm not going to put you on the map yet your tokens, but you see the outside of this fort off in the distance. So you're still like several hundred yards away. Sure. And this structure is big enough. You can see this from a far off distance. And the trail kind of goes up a little bit, so there's a little bit of a rise, and then you can see the cliff drop off the backside of the of the fort. Um, are we approaching from, I would assume we're approaching from a lower elevation, like the yes. fort is up yeah. the hill? Yeah, you're at a lower elevation, and it's this fort is to the east of you because you were you were going northeast, so it's still east and maybe a little bit north of you. Okay. Um, is it like built into the side? Is the fort like built into the side of the mountain, or is it built on top of the mountain? It's built on top. Sorry, I should have been more specific. So it's built to the edge of the cliff, the cliff going down, not the cliff going up. Okay. So the back side of the fort is, is a chasm on all sides, except for the two sides of the fort that you can Okay, see. so in other words, there's no way to get high ground on the fort. No, unfortunately not, no. Okay. Um, not unless, the, well... <laughs> if we had a blimp... <laughs> if you had a blimp, if you still had your airship... <laughs> if we still had our airship... You know... I uh, could make a blimp. Limited <laughs> up time, yeah, you can make a blimp. I don't think Harley's got that kind of time. Um, um, there is a north, straight north of the fort. There is a large rock outcrop there 
that if you had, it, it would be a long shot. If you had the right kind of weapon, the right kind of rifle to be specific, you might be able to get into a position where you could shoot down on the fort. That would have been Davy's specialty. Davy's the rifleman. But could I throw an explosive at it? You'd be, you're more than welcome to throw an explosive at the fort. <laughs> I was I was thinking less about I was thinking less about attacking from up high as much as getting a good look at the fort from up high and seeing how many guards you uh, know how you they're could, you could how do they're that from the even wandering. if you can't shoot from there you could do that from the outcropping you know if we could if we could go around that way and observe for a little while and see what we're getting, you know, as opposed to going guns blazing in the front door and finding out that there's 50 guys in there, it would be nice to know how many guards, how many hands she's got, how many guards she's got, you know, how, how he's being held, you know what I'm saying? So these are the gents you see walking in the walls. Uh, but to, Oh, to nice. Answer nice. Your, I, yeah, yeah, I the, love Hero Forge, man. The new, that the new Hero, Hero Forge. Is just amazing. It's gorgeous, isn't it? You gotta let me play with that so I can build Brother Malachi. Okay. By all means. The uh so yeah, these these are what the gunmen like look around on the wall. Yes, to your inquiry, you could climb up on that rock outcrop and get a view down into the fort. Now you may not have the weapons or the skills to take advantage of it tactically, <coughs> but you, you can do some recon from there. Are we I have a rifle. Four, we're seeing these four guards at least we're at uh you can see three three men on the wall from where you're at uh if you start as are you moving towards the rock outcrop yeah yeah okay. we'll, we'll move around towards or at least what do you guys think you think that's a good plan yeah that's fine scope it out scope uh scout it out before yeah, well, we, we have in. to take a look and see what we're you know we got to know what we're up against yeah we can't even formulate a plan if we don't know what we're up against i exactly. like going in guns blazing However, I will compromise. <laughs> All right. So as you start moving towards the, the rocks up there, uh, you do see a fourth gunman uh, up on the, the tower here that runs right along the edge of the cliff. Uh, okay. Uh, so you, you get over to the other side of the rock. And I, I assume for posterity's sake, you're going to go to the other side of the rock outcrop. So you're not like yeah. scaling the rock. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So uh, go ahead and give me whoever's going to try and climb the rock. Uh, go ahead and give. It is pretty steep. I need you to give me an athletics check. Uh, who's the best? I've, I'm only a four. Well, there you go, Tobias. Tobias, Tobias makes it. Tobias is going to be useful this game, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias, what do you see? Tell us what you see. Uh, I relay everything I'm seeing. Um, so I can I'm gonna, see the wool. You can see the rest of it. So there you can see the whole fort now. I'll let you describe what you see to them. Okay. I can see there's two men on the gate. One man in the corner tower. There's one on the far side, on the other side of the cavern, or excuse me, chasm. He's almost there. And from what it looks like, there's a platform and three. I can see three men inside. So four on the walls, three on the inside, but there's also a tent. I can't really see what's in the tent. So do you and notice the. You look a little closer in the one by the fire. Is actually a woman. Uh, red hair, green eyes, but she's she's carrying this eerily wicked looking dagger that uh, actually from this even from this distance you can tell has the red sheen of blood on it, and she's just got this wild crazy look in her eyes. Um, does the would the agency have anything on this particular individual? Um, give me a. A common knowledge check or an occult check. Occult for you, you would be better. Occult's much better. Oh, yeah. Nice. You don't know her by name, uh, but you've definitely seen that kind of look in the in the faces of the various uh, uh, the photographic evidence of the different kinds of cults that the agency has broken up through the years. Um, you don't know who or what she believes in, but it ain't God. And it's definitely not on the side of sanity. Mm. And I'm 
going to take a wild guess and say she's probably in charge. I don't like that she looks like me. I want to punch her. <laughs> well, we can give you the... I can certainly try to get you the opportunity. Um, what is it she can't. She can't she's got to be one of those Scots. What What am I seeing? Scots. What am I seeing here? What is that? So there is a bridge there. Uh, you can tell the bridge runs to the far side of the chasm, and there's a small building on the other side. And you can you can see it. It looks like a small like stable set up for horses. So it looks like they've got them. They built themselves an escape route on the box back side of the fort. I'd like it's to like see there's... that get taken out. Before, you know, I'd like to see that get taken out. But if we take it out, that means they're going to hold up in the sport, and we're not going to be able to do anything with them. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, if Evan could sneak over there and rig some explosives on that bridge, and then not necessarily take the bridge out, but if they start trying to escape on the bridge, then Evan can blow it while they're escaping. That's a good idea. I like that. Because oh, I like that. <laughs> I kind of figured you would. <laughs> because you blow shit up. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the time, this the just became like it. this just became like the dirty dozen, right? We're gonna go rig the bridge full of uh, explosives. Well, blow it up. Uh, something the, I want to point blow it up out while the Nazis are on it. One thing I want to point out: I did not see Harley anywhere. Um. Not to mention okay. that we are uh, outnumbered two to is one. Are there any buildings or any place where they might be hiding him? Where they might be keeping him? They've got some <clears throat> stagecoaches. They've got some covered that's never that. That's never stopped us before. <laughs> I don't know okay. what you actually say, but that's just a wagon. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's <laughs> no stagecoaches. There's, there's at least two covered wagons and... Wagons and stagecoaches are different, all right? Yeah, there's. Way I different. think there's actually four tents in there, five tents. Excuse me. Like there's one huge tent. Yeah, and I'm guessing these are tents. Yes, you're like, this you're is definitely. This. Like, you're drawing well, this in the dirt for us so that we get a layout of the. Yeah, there's of the. There's a big. Okay. Looks like an old maybe a, a, a Union like a, a officers tent. That's the big one you see, and the others look like more common like pup tents. Okay, more like the soldiers' tents. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, um, oh, perhaps one more, can one more we... thing I want to point out. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of cages over here. Any chance of Harley sitting in any of those? Give me a notice check. Okay. It's hard to see in those cages from here. Not for me. <laughs> Not for you. Watch when I go make my stinking stealth roll to there try to break the bridge. He's in the cage. Yep, sure enough, you see Harley sitting in one of the cages. And as a matter of fact, Christopher. Oh, Davy's in a cage too. You got Davy too. Any sign of Christopher? No, no sign of Christopher. <laughs> yes, he's actually on that one lady's knife. That was Christopher. <laughs> Yeah, for, oh, come it, on, is, dude. it is difficult to see them, but you can tell. Uh, well, you already knew Harley had been worked over, uh, but you can tell Davy's been given. He's, he's been. He's gotten it pretty good too. All right. And his so his injuries actually look a bit more fresh. All right. Um, here's my thought. Here's my thought. Um, is there a way? I, I'm not. I'm I'm still having a little trouble visualizing the lay of the land. Okay. Um. Is there a way Evan could sneak to the bridge? There are a couple ways to do that, and you can choose which one you want. Uh, you could have Evan try and uh, the more difficult of the two, uh, but you would definitely get the explosives closer and much easier. Is if she snuck across the open area, or scaled down just below the cliff and then worked her way all the way along the cliff which would be a long way you know athletics checks to get to underneath the bridge so she can place the explosives or if you wanted to try and figure out some way to get her on the other side of the ravine it would be much easier for she wouldn't have to sneak through the open because they're they're kind of looking you know west and south 
They're not right. really looking across the ravine all that much. It'd be much easier to sneak down to where that, that stable was, and then she could work her way, you know, other side of the bridge and get the explosives there. How could we get on the other side of the ravine? You could on the other side of the bridge. Real far, like coyote far. <laughs> or, Evan is really good at building devices. She could try and rig up something to like shoot a grappling hook across and then repel across to the other side. And okay. if we do that, or not uh, repel, uh, we, do that, we can we can easily. Mike, your down. your sound just got real real went. Did it? The volume on your sound just went down really far. Did it, is it back now? Yeah, you're back. A little bit, not as much as it was. Mm. That's weird. It may be a setting because it's been doing all, to all of us a little bit. I bet you there's something I haven't set up in Zoom yet. I think it's when we try to talk over each other, it kind of. It might it be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, wow. so yeah. So Evan could try and rig up a uh, zip line. That's the word I was thinking of. Like a device to shoot a grappling hook across, and then she and whoever wanted to could zip line across the ravine. Okay. My I mean, thinking is that it should probably be both of y'all that goes to the other side and then make your way up. I can I can stay on this side and, and try to cause a distraction to make sure all the guards and potentially this witch are looking in, in the direction of the gate. And that way you guys can get over there because you guys you guys have got the abilities. If you have to go toe to toe with the witch, it's gonna be you're gonna fare a lot better than I possibly will. You know, I can I can shoot at guys with guns, sure, but you know, when it comes to a witch, it's probably gonna be y'all's forte. Right. Assuming she's a witch. Well of course. here's the two here's my thoughts, okay? One, we don't want to be, it, it's not like we the fight we just had with the two guys at the, at the thing. It's not like we want to come at them from both sides, right? We want to come at them all from the front gate. Because if Evan rigs explosives on the bridge, we basically want them to fall back, right? We want them to fall back to the bridge so Evan can blow it and take them out while they're on the bridge, okay? Um, Fair. So, so we don't want to come at them from two sides. We want to come at them from one side, kind of force them to fall back, and then blow them up while they're on the bridge. Well, you know, instead of falling back, they could be chasing you guys, and you could just light them, you know, light the bridge when they actually start chasing. Yeah, them. I, I, I suppose we could play it that way too, right? We fall. We can back, do that as well, but then that, well, we could just go back then around, we, but that yeah, would take yeah. longer to get to. The other Are thing I'm thinking is the other thing I'm thinking is that if Evan can sneak if Evan sneaks over to rig the bridge why couldn't she sneak over to unlock the cages and let Harley and Davy out? That's right? true. It is very close to the bridge. Yeah, because the cages are really close to the bridge, so I'm almost wondering why we couldn't just do that and not Because even... then I wouldn't get to blow shit up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair point. Fair <laughs> point. Um, I don't know. I, I just... And also, I really want to punch that witch. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. I definitely want to give the witch her... What she's got coming. But, her comeuppance. Um... Good Lord did send me down here to exact some some vengeance. And, and she's a witch, me, so she's not practicing. Something tells me that woman's got okay. a coming. Um, <laughs> I just I just worry that that's a, for Evan to get over there to rig the bridge. That's going to be a lot of stealth and athletics checks, and that's not exactly Evan's strong suit. Dax, notice another so, individual. I can make the explosives. Unfortunately, the guys who are good at the stealth and the and the athletics part of it are sitting are in the cages. Are locked cages. up in cages. Are, are locked up in the cages. So, do you think it would be better for you uh, if if the two of us were to go back there and leave and and to leave her Hold to on, cause somebody distraction else with? Just Hold on, somebody so else just... Tobias, well, I don't know that I would have seen that. You're the, you're the one on the rock. Yeah, Tobias notices a change in the camp. So well, we're, well, we're planning. 
Yeah. Well, we're planning. Somebody else just walked out of the tent. So, uh, a can woman, I see them? Oh, mighty GM. A woman comes walking out of the tent. Mike, you're, oh, you're, you're muted. Yeah, no wonder you didn't react. I was talking. Um, so while you're still planning, you notice a change in the camp. You you see a woman come walking out. A woman, a rather gnarly looking woman, missing a nose, greenish tainted skin, and uh, a bright red top hat on her head. And she comes walking out, and she's got a book in her hands, uh, rather ornate looking bound book with this you know ornate you know binding to it. There's there's gold all around it, and the page, but the 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 leather on it is completely black. And the pages look on, you know, they're old. And even from here, you can see, like, circles and different design symbols drawn into the book. And she seems to be looking at it like she's studying. And uh, she starts, she slaps the other woman on the back. And she, she, she seems to be celebrating something in this book. Oh. Well, we're, just our timetable just got, yeah, our timetable yeah. just got the book, up a lot. The book definitely has a unique look to it. It's, it's not like anything you've ever seen out here before. Okay. Yeah, the... We gotta, we gotta hurry. They're up to no good. Something's gotta. And that, that woman. Of the explosives on the bridge, not just because I want to blow shit up, because I can do that any other day. But, I think, I think Tobias was onto something when we, when he said to put the explosives back there in case they try to, you know, escape. Because ain't nobody escaping. You mess with my family, I'm gonna fuck shit up. Well, all right. Well, how you want to get to the bridge? Then it's your call. You want to, um, you want to, you want to climb back there, or you want to try to rig the rappel line, rappel line, and come from the other canyon. I think doing the going the long way, but trying to do the zip line, as um, Mike had said. I think that's our best way because okay. one, it'll be less stealthing, so less checks I have to make. And two, um, the the zip line will be faster than actually just walking. Okay, it's, it's your it's your that's your part of the plan. So whatever you think is the best way, we'll we'll go with your idea. Okay, so what checks do you need me to make, Mike? Okay, so I need you to try and rig up a device uh, to get yourself. Uh... Sorry. What? Um, the DM two... is scheming. Yeah, the DM is scheming. <laughs> um, give me a weird science check to rig up weird a device science. to uh, shoot the line in a grappling hook. Oh yeah! Damn! Awesome. Nice. So yeah, it, it's not going to take you very long. It's just going to take you for a few minutes uh, to build this contraption to to do this. Uh, it's only going to take a couple of minutes. But what do you guys want to do while she's she's getting this thing ready? I think we should just keep an eye on the camp. Make sure nothing else crazy happens down there. Make sure no more witches show up. She moved back into the boss tent. Yeah. Um. You know what? All right. As I'm, uh, as I was looking, I asked them. Let me. Uh, does this mean anything to you? Either one of you. Tell you a little bit more about the the book that I see. So he, he just, describes the so I described the book before. So you heard the description before, but that was mm -hmm. what Tobias saw. So he describes the book to you, and actually both of you recognize the book. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was a book that you found when you had been flung into the far future. An insanely powerful and evil grimoire with all sorts of spells. As a matter of fact, one of the spells in that book was the one that Harley used to bring you back in time. That She has Harley's 
a grimoire of evil and dark powers. Okay. That, that ain't good. No, has he, I I barely like has he had that book all this book. time? He's had that book this whole time. He never got rid of it. Oh, crap. Oh. Damn you, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I turn to the, I turn to both of them and that's say, a, "Okay, that's a little throwback secret. Leave? That's a little who throwback to... secret to I a thought, few years ago. Uh, thought, you all thought he went to destroy it. I was just gonna say, I thought he destroyed that book. He didn't destroy it. He kept it. He told Damn you he okay. destroyed it. As soon as we rescue him, I'm kicking his ass. <laughs> uh, real quick, anyone just want to leave them to their fate?" Just throwing I'm that out there. No! I'm messaging Pierman right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, any chance that maybe with my knowledge and research that I might know what she's trying to accomplish? She's got a sorcerer and a dead man and apparently a pretty powerful grimoire. Any chance that... uh? Oh, uh, yeah, I will let you make one more check because you saw her. Uh, make an occult check when you saw her. I'm expecting this one to roll low. <laughs> huh? Success. Uh, you don't know her specifically by name, but the genetic features you've seen, the skin tone and whatnot, she's a Waitley. She's a member of the Waitley family. Jesus. Gross. Uh, now, you did hear that someone had hired one of the Waitleys. Uh, remember, her name was Dorcas Waitley. Right. So you, you're imagining either this is Dorcas or there's more than one Waitley here. They're they're pretty prolific, so yeah, that is and true. their family their family tree doesn't branch. So, but that <laughs> yeah. is, it's just one awful, disgusting mutated line that covers itself across the weird west. Yeah, yeah. I was reading uh, what what was it? Oh well, it's nothing. I, yeah, I got a, I got a better idea of what the. I think it was the, the I think it was like the Cackler graphic novel, and then the, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, cool. Yeah, they don't so much have a family tree as they have a family wreath. <laughs> That's cool. Yes. yes. All right. So, uh, bio break and conversation done. Uh, so back to the fort. So, all right. So Evan has the the zip line across the uh, the ravine here. And you are all set up. Uh, so, is just Evan going across to sneak down and lay the bombs? The explosives? I see so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's basically between me and Brother Malachi now and deciding which one of us is going to go with and, or stay here and cause a distraction. Okay. So, I, so Tobias was going to stay on the rock. So, it, it, what do you want uh, Brother Malachi to do, Bill? Um. So have, I, I'm assuming that to do this, we've had to move down from our perch on the rock and come down. So where are we now? Yeah, I think it, it would have been safe. So you probably moved north along the ravine. So there's it, plenty of distance between you and the fort. Is it possible? Can you make another page really quick, just a blank page where you can kind of sketch the layout, the lay of the land? Yeah, absolutely. And show us where... Where everything is. Sure. That's a great idea. All right. So here is the fort. All right. Okay. And red is going to be the ravine line. All right. And okay. this is the line on the other side. Uh, let's go to the polygonal line. Brown. I don't use brown often. All right. So that's the bridge across. Right. The, uh, in black, the, uh, the rock. Oh, I picked the wrong thing. Sorry. Right hand. So here's the rock. That you you climbed up onto, okay, and then way upstream. So I'm going to draw it up here, but it's it's much farther up, so you wouldn't be seeing the zip line across. Okay, so Evan rigged the zip line there, and then she's going to come down the other side of the ravine and rig the explosives on the bridge. Yep. 
So the, the low areas that are below the fort, I'm just going to kind of do a squiggly line so you can kind of see roughly where that is. Okay. So you kind of, if you like, say you were walking straight from the rock to the fort, you would go down a little bit and then come back up to the fort. Okay. So there's like a little valley between the rock. There's yeah, like a little valley between one, yeah. the rock. Okay. And... Um, and it is filled with scrub and whatnot. So like it's not open territory. Uh, right, okay. It is a little bit open, cleared out right around the fort, like, you know, maybe 15, 20 feet. But there's mm -hmm. plenty of, you know, desert brush and everything else, cactus and, and smaller okay. rocks and whatnot. Um, show me again where the, um, can you show me again where our rocky outcropping is that we're spying on them from? It's yes. the big blue circle at the top there, up there. Right, right. Um, so, okay. is that within before right Evan right? goes, let's come up with this plan before Evan goes. So, Evan is going to go across the zip line and she's going to move south along the east side of the ravine she's going to move to the bridge and she's going to lay um explosives along the bridge then then um, i would i be able at all to put explosives more towards the middle of the bridge just so that way I can we can lead them into a false sense of security just for it to blow up well the I think the even better would be to put all your explosives at this end of the bridge because obviously the bridge has to be supported on both sides so if they're walking across the bridge and they get right about here and you blow it right here that whole bridge is just gonna fall I mean no sense climbing your way all out to the middle of the bridge and risking that. Just just put explosives on the supports on this end of the bridge and let the whole thing go down into the ravine. Well, then what would be the point of the zip line? The zip to line get, was to the get on the east side of the ravine, you have to get, because we're on the west side of the ravine over here. This is a huge, think Grand Canyon. Oh, wow. This is a ravine. You have to zip yeah. line to the other side oh, of the ravine. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were already on... Never mind. No, you're good. So, yeah, so you're going to sneak down this way. Here's the question, though. Well, Daxton... Well, Tobias was up on the rock. Are there any guards or is there anybody at the stable? Is you I mean, is she going to... anyone outside of the stable. Okay, so she's not going to run into any resistance when she gets to the stable. Yeah, it's a pretty open. It's a pretty open stable. You you can see like the tails of horses, like you know, every now and then wishing flies out the back of it. And okay, whatnot. but you haven't seen any any. Okay, so she's not gonna if she's not gonna run into any resistance over at the stable. Here's my thought: Evan goes alone down the zip line, goes over, rigs the bridge. Tobias and I can move through the scrub and stuff through the valley, more towards front of the fort for a frontal assault we can try to keep them busy and keep their attention on the front of the fort after evan rigs the bridge to blow she could possibly sneak across the bridge try to get davy and harley out of their cages while we're keeping everybody busy at the front of the fort and then Evan, Harley, and Davey can escape across the bridge. And if they're followed, once they get across the bridge, they can blow it. And then that way, the three of them can escape on the east side of the ravine. And we can escape off the west side of the ravine. Well, what about killing the witches? Well, that's... The ultimate goal is to kill the witches, or I should say, the ultimate goal is to rescue Harley and Davy. Okay, I'm a little afraid that without Harley and Davy with us, with it just being the three of us killing two witches and five armed guards, might be a tall order. Might be right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying we can't 
I'm not saying we can't put a dent in them, but especially knowing that that witch now has har- has the grimoire that had all that nasty black magic See. that Harley supposedly was supposed to destroy, and now she has it all. See, uh, here, here's what I'm thinking. In order for us to get them to cross the bridge, they've got to want to cross it for some reason. Obviously, the you know two people coming at them for a frontal assault is not going to be enough to make them evacuate across the way. We got to make them want to run toward it. Well, that's why I'm way. thinking if yeah, Harley, we, we gotta release them. yeah, if Harley and Davy and Evan are all escaping across the bridge, I think that's that's kind of, they're kind of the rabbit, right? They'll they'll be the rabbit running across the bridge. Think. Think, uh, oh, what was it? I want to say Goodwill Hunting, and I know that's wrong. Uh, the other Damon movie with Tom Hanks, the war movie. Oh, um, Saving Private Ryan. Ryan. Save it, Private Ryan. Thank you. Think Saving Private Ryan, right? They put the two guys in the in the little half track, and they were the ones that were supposed to get the Nazis to come down the the middle of. The Nazis were supposed to chase them as they were running away. And come down the middle of the street so they could blow the street up on the Nazis. Well, Evan's the rabbit this time. And she's going to rescue Harley and, and Davy, And they're going to all rabbit across the bridge. And, and then she's going to... And gonna, what happens? And what happens if... And, and if that doesn't happen, what's our plan? We need a backup. <sighs> this is Deadlands, man. You don't need a backup. Does yeah, she, I, don't, I don't think there is a backup. The backup plan is if Evan doesn't think it's going to. I mean, the backup plan is is if it starts going south and Evan doesn't think she can do it, then she needs to get her ass across the bridge and blow it and at least make sure she gets out of there. That's the backup. Uh, mm, you're assuming that I'm going to leave Harvey and Davey behind. <laughs> so I have. I mean, I don't want to do it either, but. I have two questions. What, what are we gonna do if I have to if we have to rescue you, Harley and Dave? You ain't gonna rescue me, beats. I'm gonna blow shit up before they try to get me. I have two questions. Each one is for Jess. So okay. when you cross the zip line, are you gonna take it down and take it with you? Or leave it where it is? Uh I mean, I can take it down and take it with me. But then I have to put it back up when if I when we came back. Sure, I just want to make sure and see what you wanted to do. Which way? Well, here's the thing. Um, I don't think there's any point in leaving it because if it's a zip line, it's using gravity, right? Which means you can't go back on the zip line. You're gonna okay. have to reset it. So mm-hmm. you might as well take it down. That's true. And maybe what you do is, and I don't even know if you want to reset it, because once you're on the east side of the ravine, you're fine. You're isolated, Uh right? You know, I mean, if things go south, and if things go south and Tobias and I have have to run away, then you just grab one of the horses out of the stable, and you ride east, we'll ride west, and we'll meet back up in Virginia City somewhere. You know, I mean, there's there's no reason. Once you're on the east side of the ravine, there's really no reason for you to come back to the west side. Of the- so yeah, I leave that up to just to decide. And the second question is, uh, since you're the one who's going to be laying them, where on the bridge did you want to put the explosives? Um, we'll go ahead and put them on this side. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't looking. Go ahead and ping it again. Here. Okay, so you want to do it at the edge, like right where the wooden bridge is attached, like into the post on that side of the ravine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, what kind of bridge is this? Is this like supported from underneath? Is it a rope bridge? What kind of bridge are we talking about? It's a rope bridge. So if you... Uh, okay. Temple of Doom. So think yeah, Shrek. Temple of Doom bridge. Yeah, Shrek. Is it like Shrek? Yeah. Where... Okay. Yeah, if you if we in just close down there, you'll see it's, it's a rope with the wooden slats. I mean, it's it's not old construction. It's like in Indiana Jones, so uh, the boards look a little rickety, but it, it's not poorly made. Okay. They wanted um, this to stand if they had to escape across it, not fall under, twist underneath them. Right. So, 
with my explosives, I can rig it so that way I have like a button that I press and then it goes kaboom, right? A yes. detonator, I don't yeah. Have to put it on a timer. Yep. Because I want it to blow up when I want it to blow up. You could do a timer yeah. or manual detonation remotely yourself. We're going to do a remote because if we do a timer, then that puts me on a time frame. And then if I don't get out of there in the right time frame, I might blow myself up. And that's not the plan. It's good thinking. <laughs> okay. Any chance she can leave us some explosives in case we got to go in case we have to go in guns blazing, we can blow the gate open. When I have so many explosives. Yes. <laughs> you can have so many. I am more than willing to share the love. If the one caveat, if you have like normal dynamite or something on you, yeah, by all means you can share. Now your weird science stuff, they can we would use it. it. Yeah. They if it's ghost rock, fun. if it's ghost rock, we wouldn't know how to use it. I mean, you just throw it at shit. <laughs> Honestly, if she says it, if she puts it, if she says I can put it down somewhere and shoot it from far away and it's going to explode, I'm okay with that idea. Yeah, that's that's another good idea. Good she just builds something that. All we have to do is is push a button and, and or put it'll it blow around up. the vicinity of something we want destroyed. Yeah. 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 If you literally, uh, literally can just give you actually, a I kind of like that idea. If you make like a few grenades or something that we can I throw can at those guys. A grenade, and I can hand this to you and say, throw it, and it'll explode. Throw it at those guys. All right. Go ahead and give me a weird science check to uh, to cobble some of those up. Bottle of whiskey. Yeah, you're having so, trouble uh, with that one. You uh, use some of your best parts in the zipline uh, device. Um, you may need to work on it a little bit harder, or if you want, you can use a Benny to re-roll that. Or you could spend the red Benny, just add 1d6, and since you'll, you'll roll at least a 1, that'll turn it into a success. But that would take me a bit. Were you able to hear me, Jess? I wasn't able to hear Dad. Oh, were you talking, Bill? I was just curious what Billy boy. Where'd you go, guy? Hello? Hello. There he is. All right. Sorry. I was just curious what is in a mess kit. Oh, a mess kit is plate, silverware, fork. Okay. So question for the GM. No no bottles in a mess kit. No. No, this is just what you need to sp spoon your vittles into when it's time to eat. Question for the GM. Mm -hmm. Uh from the rock to the fort, uh are any of am oh, I is actually, that hold on one one second. Uh Jess, sure. did, did you want to use a Benny on that roll? Mm. Yeah. It's a one shot. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. I will. I'll just use a white and re roll it. Okay. Go for it. There, there we go. Girl. All right. So not only do you create a explosive, you create three explosive devices that they can use. Three so grenades. You nice. can distribute however you see fit, Jess. Okay. That does not include the explosives I'm using on Correct. the brick. That is separate. Um, what skill will it take to throw the grenades? Athletics. A throwing check. Throwing. Oh. Throwing? Yeah, it's that's, not even, that's not even on my list. So it would be an unskilled check for you. Okay. So you never you have trained in throwing things, but you did have the other option if you want to try and plant it. And like have Tobias shoot it, you could do that as well. What's your throwing? Do you have? Does Tobias have throwing? He does not. Okay, so it'd be unskilled but I got for a both good of us. I got a good shooting roll. Well, yeah, so do I. But to shoot it, we still would have to sneak up and plant it. Yeah, my stealth is a lot better. Than my so it may be something you so. need to hold on, and if you need to use it up close and personal. Yep, I think that's going to be our best bet. Is why don't you take two of them? I'll take one of them. Okay. 
Okay. Are we within rifle range to the guards at all? Uh, you are, but it is going to be a very difficult shot. It is your longest yeah. range. Okay. Yeah, it's probably yeah, better. Really, for it's it's a shame Davy's not here with us. That's that's where Davy really shines. He's he's good with the rifles. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So zip lining. All right. Going yep. under the bridge, setting up my explosives. All right. I. It, Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Before you go, the last thing we need is we need some kind of signal from you that you've set the explosives and you're ready on your side. Flash us with a, uh, something shiny. Ready to grab the guys or ready to explode shit? Ready to grab the guy, Like, because once you've got your explosives set and once you're, you're done with your work, once you're over there and you're done setting your explosives... And, and we got to cause a distraction, yeah. We're going to cause a distraction at the front gate. We're going to start shooting from the front gate. Hopefully, they're all going to move towards the front gate and pay all the attention to the front gate. When that happens, you're going to run across the bridge, release Harley and Davy, and you're going to attack from inside and fight from inside. And as long as things are under control, we'll keep fighting. But if shit starts to go south... Then you, Harley, and Davy are going to take off across the bridge, and when they chase you, hopefully when they chase you across the bridge, then you're going to blow it while they're on the bridge. That's the plan. And if shit goes south, you guys take off to the east on the other side of the bridge, and Tobias and I will take off to the west. I concur. That's the plan. She's just take something shiny and and flash it toward the sun so that we know when to start okay. causing our distraction. Yeah. Would my plate and my mess kit be shiny enough to do that? Probably. Yeah, they're usually made of tin, so as long as we're watching for it, you know, we got to remember not to get distracted <laughs> talking about K-pop or something like that. And then uh, as soon as we notice your <laughs> signal. Mm. Okay. Throwing check, 3d6 damage. All right. All right, th that's the plan. Everybody's good? I am right. good because I'm carrying two unstable grenades. <laughs> in, in true gaming fashion, let's have fun watching this plan fall apart. Cue <laughs> <laughs> the Benny Hill I, Hey, I'm proud. This is probably one of the best gaming plans I, I've come up with. Too. In a long time. It's not going to go the way... It, it's it's going to completely fall apart. But damn it, yeah. we did a good job. Alright, so first things we first. We work well as a I team. Like, I feel like all of my years of watching Westerns have finally paid off. <laughs> Alright, Jess, I need Evan to make a stealth check. Now, they're not really paying attention to the eastern side of that ravine. But every now and then they may look over there. So you probably want to stay hunkered down as you move carefully down towards the sable. So go okay. ahead and give me that stealth check. <laughs> Man, she's not good oh. at it. Okay, oh. got a deep four in stealth. You did get a plus one bonus though, uh, because you're on. <laughs> like I said, they weren't really watching over there. Circumstances were in your favor. I need to make yeah, sure I speak up quick. You're on the east side of the ravine, the Nara. Side. Okay. So Evan, Evan isn't sure. There's a couple of close calls there where like some guards kind of thought they heard something and looked over that way. You don't think you've been seen, but you're not completely sure. But nothing happens. You get to the stables and no one moves to intercept you. Okay. As you do get close to the stables, you can hear the horses wickering inside and, and you're know, making noise and shuffling around a bit. And uh, you glance in a little bit and there's definitely no people over here. This is just their animal, uh, just their mouths. Okay. And you move over to the uh, um, to the bridge. Uh, give me a weird science check to rig up your explosives. <laughs> what oh is my gosh! <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any bennies left? She does. She has one. Yeah. You. You gotta crazy. use it. What if I need it later? Okay. The whole plan falls you apart. The whole plan yeah. falls apart if you don't get that bridge rigged up. Right. Well, if put it this way. From, me, if from a story perspective, money, from a story perspective, uh, if you choose not to use Benny, Evan still thinks she set up the explosives. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. 
Okay. Um, so this is just. She'll be sitting there pushing the button, and it won't be blowing up. So this is you just deciding how you want the narrative to go. <laughs> yes, your only other option is to be. Your only other option is to be more. You know, creative throughout the rest of this to get some pennies back from from Mike. You'll you'll get some more pennies. So, so I be promise funny. You be uh, funny. <laughs> oh, so um, so did you want to use that to add a d6 to make an automatic success, or did you want to reroll? The one way I'd get a new Benny, the other way I don't. If you add the d6, he gets a Benny. Right. If you if you completely reroll, let's put it this way: you roll the d6 and add it, you're definitely going to succeed right but mike's but, gonna get a but mike's gonna get a benny yep. you re-roll mike won't get a benny but you might fail again and you're out of bennies to make it a success um wait um i think i messed up how so because I put down a white penny earlier to re-roll my stealth roll, but you had already told me that I success succeeded because they didn't. Because I had a, a plus one, so I. Oh, so you haven't spent this red penny yet? Yeah, you can no. use you can use the penny on the explosives. So yeah, okay. you, you didn't have to use a penny on the stealth roll. You were successful on that. Got it. So I should still have one more penny. Oh, you had thrown one. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. No, you've used two bennies tonight. You've failed two stealth rolls back in the fort. Yeah, but he gave me yeah, another he gave me, bennies. He gave me another one, yeah. I, was, I, I saw that. Oh, you had four bennies? Okay. So yeah. I had yeah. three to start no, she with. She had three, but he awarded one, her another one. And then one. he gave me another, and I used it again. I had two bennies. Okay. And then when I made the stealth roll and saw that I didn't get it, I was like, no, I got to remake that roll. So I threw out a benny. But okay. then he said, oh, no, you made it because you had a plus one. Mm -hmm. But he didn't see that I had threw out that Benny. Right. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. I didn't well, realize you had gotten a fourth Benny. Yeah, let me. I've never tried to put one back in, but let me try. It was a white one. Yeah, I put I put a white one back in your. Okay, so this red one's on the board. That's yours too. Okay. So I. Oh, actually, I do. Here, I'm gonna take the card. Uh, mm -hmm. Then you open up my bennies and click the red one and say you want to steal it, and I'll approve it. And I will let it go. All right, now it's back in your hand. Okay, cool. All so right. I will... <laughs> decisions, decisions. I shouldn't even know that. I will use the red benny to get a D6 to automatically... All right, sounds good. So you turn that into an audit. Uh, you at least roll a one. If you want to make the roll, that's fine. Uh, just a d6? Yep, d6. Yeah. Just to see. You you could get a raise. Okay, so no raise, but it uh, it is obviously a success. So you properly set the explosives at the end of the bridge. And you are <laughs> confident in your work. Thank you. Okay. All right. So now take out my plate for my mess kit, and I try to give them the signal with the sun and the stuff. Okay. Since you're not trying to distract anyone like uh, Tobias was earlier, you automatically succeed in that. So, Tobias, okay. you see her giving the signal from across the bridge that she's got the explosive set. She's moving into phase two. Okay. I let uh, brother to I let brother Malachi know that we need to get a little bit closer. My rifle is good, but I'm not that good with rifle. Well, and I got All a shotgun, right. so I got to be real close. So I say yeah. we're storming the gates at this point. All right, so are you going to sneak through the valley up to the front of the fort? Yep, yeah. All right, so you give me a stealth check. Was Evan going to go ahead and try and cross the bridge now, or are you waiting? I am going to wait until... I'm going to try and keep an eye on everybody in the camp, mm -hmm. and I'm going to wait until I hear any commotion from them, okay. or I see them going towards a commotion. Sounds good to me. Good. <laughs> that, was, that was the plan, if... I take it you're spending a Benny. Oh, that was that was Tobias. Yeah, that's Tobias. Honestly, no, I really don't care because if they see us, they're distracted. So good point. 
they could start if they start shooting. I'm probably going to get a little nervous, but until <laughs> oh, they're going to start shooting. So <laughs> you know, but Tobias, I'm sorry, uh, Brother Malachi is about ha- a little over halfway through the valley, sneaking up when suddenly you all hear a shot ring out. As Tobias has been spotted, oh, clicked the wrong one. Let me open up his character sheet. Gotta link him. There we go. All right. Where are his stats? <laughs> <laughs> he has no stats. <laughs> that makes his shooting unskilled. <laughs> yeah. I knew what their stats were going to be. I just forgot to put them in here. Throwing them in real quick because it only take me a second. That's one thing I love about Savage Worlds. <laughs> Generic bad guy number one. <laughs> yeah. one. All right. Um, you're actually undercover because uh, you're laying down on top of the rock. You got your rifle trained. So you have a bit of cover. The shot, sh- you hear it though. It goes whizzing over your shoulder. Uh, you, you know, you feel that, that puff of air as the, as the bullet goes not too far from you. And Cheeky Boston. The fight has started. All right. Let's roll some initiative. Steal some cards. Steal some cards. He's also had a range penalty as well, so with a, with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> so they st- they're shooting at Tobias, but they still haven't seen me. No, they have not seen you. You were successful. Yeah, okay. that's that. We're going to use that to our advantage too. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to continue to try to sneak to the front gate because I can't shoot from back here. I'm carrying a shotgun. Right. So. Oh, I here. Let me put your tokens on the board too. So. Yeah, just uh, be a little careful. Go ahead and pull the hammers back now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're not necessarily over here yet, but I'm putting Brother Malachi along the west. Tobias will be along the north because you're up on the ridge. And then, Evan, I'm going to put you down on the bridge, even though you haven't crossed the bridge yet. Gotcha. All right, and let me add. As usual, you should have made your map bigger. Yeah. This one was, uh, this one came as is, though. This one. Oh, you bought this, bought this map. Yeah, I think this one. I, I bought this one on drive-thru, I believe. I thought it looked unique and cool. All right. So, oh, I need to add a couple more. <laughs> Suddenly more bad guys show up. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me recall the cards from the last fight and shuffle them. And new deal. Ooh. Aces. Aces. You guess you still get to go first, though. Spades over clubs, man. Not a queen, bitches. <sighs> Me and Motorhead. And then, well, and Tobias gets one extra card, which is... Oh, I'm on the GM layer. So that's a six. I assume Tobias wants to stay with the ace. Or would you like this? Yes, please. No, no, no. I like aces. All right. I like, I like aces. Uh, she's not where she should be. She should be down here. Okay. Uh, Brother Malachi is first. All right. Um, how far am I? How, how much? How many rounds? How many turns is it going to take me to get to? Uh, it depends how quick you move. So I assume you're still going to try and stealth. Uh, yes. But you want to do a run check. Um, so I, let me let me pose the question. You can move at a normal pace, so you're moving, you know, six six per round, and right. then stealth without without penalty. Or you can try a run, so you can add an, a d6 to your pace, but you're going to take minus two to your stealth check. Okay. And how long would it take me to get there moving normally, as opposed to if I run? 
Uh, we'll say it's going to take you uh, 10 pace to get there. Okay, so two turns if I move normally. Um, yeah, you could do it in one if you rolled high enough. All right, my stealth sucks, so I'm going to move carefully. I'm going to take two turns. All right. So give me that stealth. And, and I'm kind of trying to move towards this very corner. What I want to do... Okay. What I what my plan is is to get like right about here, and then Sorry. to yeah my plan is to try to get right about there, and then lob uh lob Evans grenade up onto that platform where that guy is standing. That's okay. that's my plan. All right. Um. So here's my stealth check. Sweet. All right. So I move carefully, so it's not fast enough to get all the way there, but I make it so they still don't know, know where I'm at. All right. All right, very good. All right, uh, Tobias, up on the rock. All right, I'm going to draw a bead on this guy. Try to give him as uh, trying to give uh, brother Malachi as much cover as I could possibly get, and I'm going to take a, take a shot at him with my rifle. Okay. Uh, I'm using a Winchester 73, range is 96. Shooting. So you're going to be minus two to this roll. Uh, how do I how do I annotate we, that on here? We just apply it afterwards. Yeah. Mm, no good. Gonna use a Benny? Oh well. No, I'm just making noise at this point. All right. I mean, as long as it's not it's not counted as a snake eyes, right? No, no, it has to be a double one. Okay. Yeah. In this case, I'm just making. Uh, I'm I'm acknowledging that I'm just making noise, drawing their attention my way. All right. Yeah. You're definitely doing that. All right. And Evan, what is Evan doing? Okay. You can you can hear the ruckus, the shooting going on. I, all right. I can hear the ruckus. Can I see the like? And I see that they're not paying attention to this bridge. Their attention like is definitely away from the bridge. Okay. I'm going to try to go across the bridge as quickly and quietly as I can. Okay. So go ahead and roll a d6 because you're, uh, you're running. Okay. And you're going to make a cell check. But there's a – since you're running, there's a minus two. But because they're really not paying attention, there's a plus two. So it's going to be a wash. You just make a straight okay. cell check. Got it. All right, so you're going to move 10 pace, and you're successful on your stealth. So you run all the way across the bridge, uh, as, like you said, as quickly and quietly as you possibly can, and you clear all the way. So you you're actually are right now where your token is, on the other side, and no one has noticed you at all. Okay. Is there anywhere, is it, like, really wide open, or is there anything that I can cry, try and, like, crouch behind? Uh, close to you, Um well, you can't go any farther this turn, but uh, okay. on your next turn, you could try and crouch behind the cage, or you could crouch down here behind the tent, on the back side of the tent. Mm -hmm. uh, the tent opens on the other side, so there's no opening on this side. Got it. Okay, so then I guess I'm done? Yes, that is the end of your turn. Okay, so the <laughs> cultist. Um, done? She's Question like, mark. what the bloody hell? Five, ten. 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15. Oh, sorry. Not D&D. <laughs> <laughs> Can't double move. <laughs> well, she's running, so she only gets seven. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's as far as she got. And uh, she's waving her pistol around. She looks. She's gunning to shoot someone, but she's got no target right now. Uh, gunman number four is taking a pot shot. Uh, this is going to be a very difficult shot. But I got no, a raise. Not. But that's a good shot. That is a good shot. That's going to hit uh, Tobias. Uh, but it's not enough to do. It's too far. So you feel a bullet rip through your through your uh, your left shoulder because you know you're down like this and you're aiming, and it comes across your rifle and just clips your shoulder. You see blood shoot down. You know blood starts staining your shirt, and it hurts a lot. But it's not enough to throw you off. Boston. <laughs> Cheeky. Busted. All right. A brand new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All 
uh, from your position, uh, actually from both, uh, Evan kind of catches a glimpse of her too. You see Dorcas come out of the tent and like, what the bloody hell is going on here? And someone yells down, we're being attacked, miss. She's like, kill him. Kill him now and drag him in here. Might be some of these two friends. We don't need their interruptions. And she starts, uh, she moved 5, 10, 15, 20. Actually, she had stopped and acted, so that was the end of her turn. All right, so the next gunman uh, is looking that way. Let's see if he can see where... No, he doesn't see he doesn't see Brother Malachi at all. So he's taking a shot up at uh, at Tobias, the only target he knows about, uh, and that's a miss because you're undercover. Thank God. <laughs> Gunman number three kind of throws himself down and barricades in front of the front gate. Uh, from your position, Tobias, you can look like he's he's uh, put his weight against it in case anyone tries to come to the door. Quick question, Mike. Yeah. Is this a gate also? That is a gate also. Uh, no, that is not a gate. Okay, that is not a gate. No. Okay, I saw the path coming up to it. I wondered if that was a uh, gate. Actually, you know, that. yeah, that is a gate. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's got the wooden stuff back there. So it is a gate as well, yes. Okay. So you have two optional entrances. All yep. right, the gunman who's the farthest away from Tobias is taking a shot as well. Uh, that's also a miss. That's too much distance between you. Eight comes running around. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Actually, it'd be double. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Gets to there. He's going to take a shot at... at make a notice check. Uh, he Nope, he did not beat your stall check. Uh, and he shoots at Tobias and connects. Damn it. This whole... <laughs> Sitting target. <laughs> hey, no, 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 uh, but that's... I had to get the damage to pop up. That's a solid hit. So what is Tobias's toughness? Uh, I believe it's a five. Five. So that drops that down to an eight, which would take you to two wounds. Uh, do you want to do a soak roll? Uh, yes. Okay, so spend a Benny and give me a Vigor check. Oh, my mistake. Oh, okay. you can do it that way too. That it should roll your vigor, so your vigor's a d6. Yeah, but it's a two. That's not helpful at all. No, it's a, you got a three on the wild die. Yep. Uh, so you you spent which one of your uh, fate chips did you want to spend for the soak roll? Uh, I really don't want you guys having any. I, I really don't. I've only got uh, I'm soak rolls. This won't give me anything for a soak roll. Oh, okay. If I use a red for a soak roll, it won't. Yeah, yeah it won't well. give me anything. Yeah. All right, so you use the red to soak. Uh, the three gets added on top of your toughness, which you said was five, right? That's right. All right, so that makes it an eight. So you're only shaken and one wound. Okay, great. Which means you're minus great. one to your checks. Okay. Uh, and you'll have to do a spirit check on your next turn. Got it. All right, the last gunman, they still only have one target, uh, but I will make a notice check. Uh, he actually does spot Brother Malachi. Which guy is this? He's the one who... Let me double check. So your stealth was... I don't want to make sure I don't screw it. It was a seven. Okay, so yeah, he beats your stealth. So he's the only one who actually... It's this one over here. Okay. So uh, he doesn't say anything, but he kind of turns haphazardly, aims his rifle at Brother Malachi, and fires. Uh, but misses with that shot. Into round. All right, let's uh, deal some new more cards. Ooh, I don't like that deal. Well, yeah, that was not good for you at all. All right, one of the gunmen. Get my two cards. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah. I, it's got to be better than a four. So your other option is an eight. I assume you want to take it. Why take are it. all those sevens and fives ahead of my seven, five, four all ahead of my nine? Yeah, and I, I have a queen there all the way go. down at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. That sorted wrong the first time. Yeah. Uh, I assume you want to take the eight. Yes, Dex. please. 
Alright, so that'll move you all the way up to there. Alright. So the first gunman, uh, let's see. He has not noticed Brother Tobias, uh, Brother Malachi, Brother Tobias. <laughs> He's going to turn you to the faith, but his shot is awful. It flies wide over your head. Uh, cultist number one, she, so five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Shoves her way past the gunman, waves her pistol around, and uh, unfortunately, so she starts shooting at the rock. But there's too much distance between the two, so you know you can hear the tings off in the you know somewhere below you on the rock, but uh, that's just too far away. The, the round can't even get there. Uh, Evan's turn. Okay, well I want to stealth, and so right here is that like a cliff edge? Yep, that's the bottom of the edge. The, the cages are right up next to it. Okay, so I can't like go behind the cages. You could, if you made an, uh, an athletics check, you could hold on to the cages, because there's enough there that you could shimmy along the back of them. You know how hard it is to not give her advice right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can't tell her what to do. I'm not there. Yep, hush, Bill, hush. <laughs> I know. So, so you wanted to make a stealth check. Uh, wh where did you want to go, Jess? I want to go to the cages. I want to get them out of there. But I want to... I don't want to be like, I don't want to be in like plain sight, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you could move over. Um, all the attention is focused away from you. If you want to try and like hide along the side of the cage here, like flatten yourself against it, that's okay. still a good uh, hiding spot. The only one who has a chance of noticing you would be Dorcas. Gotcha. Uh, and possibly the gunman up here. But like I said, their attention is elsewhere right now. Okay, so I will go ahead and move. Here. All right. I'm going to stealth there. Do I have to make a stealth roll? Yes, please. All right, okay. so you've got a success. Ooh, unfortunately. All the, uh, they all rolled the exact same. Yeah, One there and a wild die of four. <laughs> they should get some kind of disadvantage because they're, cause they're distracted. They should get some kind of minus oh, yeah, yeah. for that, not watching. That's the minus two. So neither of them were successful because, they're like I said, their attention is away. That That's your advantage in this situation. So okay. as you flatten yourself against the cage... Uh, like Dorcas is like looking around and barking out orders and she kind of starts to look your way but then like one of Tobias's shots rings out and she her, she jerks her head back to the right. Okay, so I right. moved over here. And Estelle, so th that was your action. Okay. All right. So Dorcas's attention is elsewhere and people are shooting so she's getting undercover. So Dorcas falls out of your view. Uh, okay. Evan can see her, but uh, Tobias cannot. Brother Malachi. Alright, um, I will continue trying to stealth towards the edge of the uh, of the gate there. Towards the, towards the spot where my token is, is basically where I want to get to. Um, da -dum 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 -dum. And not a very good stealth but it's yep, still a success still a success so i get up to the edge there and i'm and i'm also kind of pressing myself up against the edge of the fort up against the edge of the fence yep so and the so the fort the, the top part hangs over so there's literally like a two three foot overhang that you're underneath right, right now exactly so my thought is that anybody that's actually on the wall other than maybe the guy that saw me over here, I mean, he could shoot down along the wall. Yeah. These guys up on the wall, if I'm pushed up against it, they probably can't see me underneath there. So that, at least that's what I'm hoping is that guys like back here and all that don't have a shot on me. Yep. All right, Tobias, I need you to make a spirit check. 
Please be kind to me. No. <laughs> All right, you're still shaken. Now, you do have a choice. You can spend a penny to get rid of shaken anytime you want. Um, Other than no, that, I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to. I'm, I'm hoping my bad luck can't uh, can't hold out much longer. So, uh, I'm shaken, gonna, so all you can do is move. Uh, in that case, I'm going to get off this. I'm uh, clearly I'm a sitting duck in this position. So, can, is there any way I can find some better cover from where I'm at? Yeah, you could move back and try and give yourself some more cover. You might make it a little harder to shoot them as well, but that is an option. Yes, I'm going to do that. Okay. Make it a little bit harder for me to get shot. Sounds good. That's always a smart move they've, in Savage Worlds. They've, they've been doing a very good job lately. <laughs> <laughs> True. All right, so you're under. Uh, you get more than a minus two bonus. You get into enough cover that you've got a minus four bonus. All right, so gunman number four. Which one was number four? Okay, four, oh, four was shooting. I forgot to mention. I also wanted to scream out, you know, because I have heard this woman's name before, Dorcas Watley. And I will scream out, Dorcas Watley, you are ordered to stand down and, and surrender by order of the United States government. See if that shakes him up a little bit. All right. You hear a voice, an amplified voice, a, a naturally amplified voice boom back. United States government ain't got no jurisdiction out here. You're in our territory. We're in the United States! <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Have you ever looked at a map? <laughs> I ain't one for no learning. Not unless it's the dark powers. I like to learn that stuff. This book is mighty nice. I think I'm going to cast me up a spell this next turn, though. Dorcas, we all know you Watleys can't read. You watch your language. At least one of us can. It may not be me, but one of us can. <laughs> Gunman number four uh, takes a shot. You got minus four for your cover, so that's a that's a miss. Right, let me move this over so I can see it. Gunman number five is on the back end. He's got the hardest shot at you. Not so good. Gunman number eight. Keep having to minimize it. He's the one who went up, so he's taking his shot. Pow, 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 pow. Woo. Aren't you guys glad my dice went cold this turn? Yes. Got yes. number. Thank you. Three is still barricading the door. He's holding his position. Number number two. Yeah, just like you suspected might happen. You see him move up along the edge. Uh, you do have a little bit of cover though, because you're flattened against the wall, so you get a minus two to this, or he gets a minus two to this, and he misses. That actually makes that a snake eyes. Uh, as he fires, his gun backfires. I thought you said it had to be an actual roll of ones. Yeah. Oh, did I? Oh, okay, it probably. Yeah, because yeah, because Dax did the same thing, and he was like, "Damn, does that mean I got snake eyes?" Oh, and you yeah. were like, "Again." <laughs> no. All right, end of round. Deal two cards. Come on. Oh no, I don't like that draw at all. Don't like that draw at all. I get my two cards. I get my two cards. <laughs> Holy mother of Pete. Jeez, Pete. How do you get two threes? That's a pair, though. That's a, yeah, you got a, a pair. A, a pair beats a jack. <laughs> uh, Gummin 5 has a, a beat That should go. totally be a thing. If you draw two cards and you draw a pair, that, that beats. Yeah. That beats... But it is what it is. Ace high. A pair of <laughs> ace high. Uh, Gummin 5 uh, did not notice Evan. He's got the hard shot. He's taking a shot at Tobias again. Uh, he gets plus one uh, because he got the Joker, but he failed. Uh, Dorcas, who has the eight, ace. Here we go. Now let's have some fun. Now let's have some fun. <laughs> I hope your dice are colder. She looks up at, at the uh, the gunman who's above her. 
And she's like, you ain't hitting squat. And she starts mumbling and her voice is it's amplified again. And you start hearing these eldritch words like echo, like roll away from her out of the fort and just start echoing through the, the valley and the ravine next to you. And she cast a spell successfully. So she boosted his shooting roll. God bless it. Aim. All right, Evan, your turn. All right. So I am going to try and open up this um, this cage. Let Davy out. Okay. How are you? It is locked. How are you going to try and open it? You could try and muscle it with an athletics check. You do have tools. You could try and, and pick the lock. Or you could possibly quick uh, whip up a gizmo that would uh, take care of that lock for you. And possibly the guy inside. Just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not much one for um, picking locks. All right. So, did you want to try and muscle it, or do you want to try and concoct something that'll that'll either cut through or break open those locks for you? Probably concoct something that's the only thing I can do. Wire cutters in your toolkit. Could... Any chance that uh, any chance that Davy or um, Harley have the ability to do that? She can maybe let one you know try to get one out while the other one tries to get himself out. Uh, unfortunately, they, they're both out of it. They're they're not even. Ah. Co- conscious or aware of what's going on right now. Understood. So Jess, go ahead and give me a weird science check. Okay. All right. So yeah, you, you started thinking about pulling out your bolt cutters. You're like, oh, I can do this whole holiday. So you pull out tools. Like from your perspective, Tobias, you see her like her hands are spinning around and like this piece of ghost rock comes out and like part of it starts to glow and whatnot. And she comes out and suddenly you have like a single handle bolt cutter. It's got the you know these little clips on it. You just kind of put it up and the clips snap and cut through the bolt on the lock for you. And then the device kind of goes and the ghost rock steams away. It's It's been used for its purpose. But you've opened up his lock and you freed Davy. Okay. I can't, wow. like, freak him awake and be like, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you haven't moved. So, yeah, you kind of nestle a little bit. He kind of looks up at you. you can, from this close, you can see, like, he's got some cuts in his side. He's got blood down his leathers and whatnot. One, his right eye is swollen shut, and the other one looks like it's it's barely open. He kind of looks at you, and he's like, Evan, is that you? Get the hell up! Come on! Oh. He kind of crawls out a little bit, and he looks around, and he's like, they took my guns! Evan, they took my guns! I can't leave without my guns! Do you have any time for you to grab your guns? No, they're only going to be distracted for so long. Get your ass over the bridge. But I can't leave old Betsy behind. <laughs> or can't Excalibur. Her at the same time, so you're getting regular Jessica instead of Aaron. That's okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion check. <laughs> Not without my guns. <laughs> uh, Davy, he's got them. You've never seen Davy so distraught in his entire life. But he keeps looking at you, looking around the camp and what all the chaos going on, looking at you, and he kind of shakes his head. You, For the first time, you see a single tear appear on the side of his eye <laughs> and roll down his cheek as he turns and moves towards the bridge and starts going across. <laughs> Very good. All right. Cultist number one. Uh... She uh, keeps taking pot shots at the. Uh, she's jumping back and forth. She ping, keeps running ping, back and forth, ping, like ping. taking shots. Gunman, this gunman. Uh, he doesn't know about t- uh, Brother Malachi, so he's just taking a shot at Tobias. Come on, let's get some aces here. No, nope, not enough to get through. Negative. Whoop, 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 gunman style. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> See, we got you infected with K-pop in one way or another. <laughs> uh, all right, so the gunman who can see Malachi aims down along the edge. That's uh, going to hit gonna... even with the penalty, yeah. 
but uh, with the penalty that there's no raise on that. So this is just a normal normal damage. Ooh. Ouch! What the hell? Uh, what is your toughness? That was a normal uh, damage headshot. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Uh, toughness is seven. Seven, okay. Uh, do you want a soak roll? Yeah. All right, go ahead and throw that Benny out there and give me a vigor, uh, soak roll. Bigger check. Yep, that works. Seven. Okay, so that pushes you up to an eleven, which means you are just shaken. No wounds from that attack. Good roll. Good save. And it is your turn, Bill. Um. So it's a spirit to not be shaken. Yep. Yeah. Give me your spirit check. Success. Oh yeah. Now he's filled with the spirit. Filled with I the am. spirit of the Lord. Uh hopefully the spirit of the Lord stays with me as I try to toss Evan's uh ghost rock grenade up onto this platform and blow this dude up. Alright, give me your unskilled check. Oh, oh! 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 Baby. that's my boy! <laughs> All right, let me do some math. So you beat the four. Um, so that's two raises. So you're going to do 5d6 points of damage. The Lord is with you. you. You drop back and toss that grenade, and it's just perfect. Perfect as if you were a baseball th you know, player throwing it in to home plate. That grenade just soars up into the air and comes down dead smack at the foot of the gunman. And with your spirit. <laughs> And you too. Amen. Um, uh, yeah, give me five. Oh, 15 points of damage. Okay. Let me check his toughness here. He, get, he gets no soak rolls. Five toughness, 10 points of damage. He's dead. Off the board. Dad, uh, he can't hear you. No, we can't hear you, brother. Come on, brother. Brother, speak. Nope. He's still celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the funny thing is, I can hear him because he's talking downstairs. Try again, I can Bill. Hear him it looks like you unmuted can finally. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can for you hear some me? Reason, yeah, before, I just noticed it at the last second. It said you were muted for some reason. I don't know if you were tapping the button or something. Oh, maybe in my excitement, I... Muted myself. Yeah, also remember, if you're on Zoom and you hit space, I think that's mute as well. Oh, does it? Okay. All right. I might have accidentally hit space bar, yep. Okay. All right. So uh, I was just curious because I, one of those oh. did explode. Yeah, yeah. There's a blast radius. Well, no. Um, when I rolled my 5d6, one of the rolls was a 6. Oh, did yeah. That Keep rolling. Yeah. yeah. Add not another that, d6. Not that it matters if it killed him. If it killed him, it killed him. So another D6 of damage is going to help. But I'm hoping that, yes, that was like a big enough explosion to actually blow like a hole in the side of the fence to actually blow up the, the, the wall. <laughs> he's not in that blast radius, is he? No, he's, he's down enough below it, but I'm grabbing the template right now. All right, so Bill, put that exactly where you would have tossed it. So yeah, it probably would have been right, right about there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, not only did you blow up the gunman, you blew like wood and timber goes flying all over the place as that entire tower goes up, and like the wall because the you know that was all one structure hooked to each other. Uh, you know, it's it's somewhat flimsy looking fort and whatnot. So parts of the wall go just careening out. You know, as the the kinetic blast goes down and whatnot, and you blew a hole wide open in the fort. Yes. Nice. Here, I'll draw it on here. <laughs> There's your distraction, Evan. <laughs> so you you got a wide open entrance. Tobias. Is um is the uh, cultist visible from my vantage point? All right then. Here comes my vigor, or here comes my spirit roll. 
Nice. Now the tide's turning. Now the tide is turning. All right. Winchester at the cultist. Okay. Come on. Yes! Nice! So that's a hit with two raises. Nice. So, with my so you with can my wounds and whatnot. Even with yeah, it automatically applies your wounds. Of course. Well, you're uh, not dead yet because you had two raises. So roll two d six and we add it to it. Oh. Oh. Well, cool. Very well, sir. So that's actually so a twelve. 12. Uh, let me double check. I don't think that's going to be up for Miss Cultist. No, her toughness is a five. Uh, she's dead. You put a bullet right through her head, and her. Huh. So the hole gets blown open, and then you hear a, tush, you know, a shot from Tobias, and the body of the cultist just falls off the top of the building and and smashes to the floor right in front of that opening there that that Malachi can see through. Hey, Dorcas, was that one of yours? <laughs> I hope she was your favorite. <laughs> Get that loudmouth son of a bitch! <laughs> Next gunman nice. fires to Tobias, but it's not working. Last final gunman, last attacker this round fires, but also misses. Let's deal some new cards. <laughs> Be good to me now, Mike. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Keep getting lucky. Yeah, your luck is not with you. So Tobias, you're running on a five. Yep. Gunman number three. All right, now, obviously, him holding the fort door is no good at this point. Uh, he does you see a bit of a shot <laughs> look on his face, but he turns around. He sees Brother Malachi there, and uh, he goes ahead and takes a shot. What do you mean? I made my stealth check. I made my <laughs> stealth check. They have no idea I'm there. <laughs> he takes a shot. At, he actually does hit. So not enough to beat your toughness, though. So you're not even shaken. Uh, you see, he, you know, like I said, he had a startled look on his face. He goes to raise the gun. You have enough time that you move out of the way, and the bullet just kind of, you know, catches the edge of your the edge of your vestments as you move under cover. Uh, Evan, your turn. Okay. So I want to move here and um, do the use the same kind of thing to get uh, Harley out. All right. Uh, make a science, and you're going to get a plus two because you've already built the device. You just kind of got to recharge it and get it going again. Got it. So twelve, Damn. perfect. So yeah, you you throw some more ghost rock into it. You know, you charge it up from your position, Tobias. You see it start to glow again, and you easily cut through the second bolt. And um, Harley has been awoken at this point, but he's still, you know, he's all beat up. He's looking awful. He looks at you. He's like, Evan, Evan, I I gotta confess something. I I kept the book. I, I kept, know shit. You shit. Know, I kept the book, you dumb shit. <laughs> I well, I thought I could learn from it, and I thought I would just tell the marshal and not tell the rest of the players that I was going to keep the book and study it in secret, and that nothing <laughs> bad would happen. <laughs> but then I didn't that, right? show up, and so the marshal decided to give the book to the bad guy. <laughs> You're a dumb fuck. You know that, right? <laughs> All right, I guess I deserve that one. Um, Evan, I, because you gotta Harley get the book. You can't up. leave it with her. Well, I can't leave you here because Harley is beat up so bad. I want to help him across the bridge. Okay. All right. So you two have of you. to, or can he make it across the bridge on his own? Shut up, Bill. You're not there. He is. Well, I, I will answer it because it's a fair question. He's hobbling. He can walk, but you would help him move a lot faster. So. No. Yeah, I want to help him across the bridge. Okay. Sounds good. So uh, you only move like you know one pace. You could finish the rest of your movement, and okay. uh, as help him get across. All right. So that you start helping, and you know Davy's ahead of you a little bit because he's had you know a few more seconds to keep moving. Right. Once we are close to the end of the bridge, or should I wait to tell you this later? It's up to you. Wait, wait in case well, you change your mind. I'm sorry. It, wait in case you change your mind. I don't think I'm going to change my mind, but okay. Okay, then you can tell me now if you want to. Okay, once we are close to the end of the bridge and I know we're going to make it off safely, I want to try and yell as loud as I can to everybody in there and say, 
all you, all you, like, get their attention so that they come towards the bridge. Oh, okay. So you want to draw attention to, to the other side. Okay. Exactly. All right. Uh, gunman number four. Uh, he is in a horrible position. He can't. He has no shot on Malachi. Uh, he's got. He misses uh, Tobias up above. Gunman number five. There, I am going to make a notice check on you guys. He doesn't notice you, so he's got. He keeps shooting at Tobias, and he misses. Brother Malachi, your turn. Okay, um, and I apologize again. My I probably should have run downstairs and got my book. I'm trying to remember. What are you looking um, for? I got it right here. Go ahead. On Do the it. Holy Warrior, I'm trying to remember what the size of the area. It's creatures, evil creatures within range, equal to my spirit. So my spirit is eight. So that's all creatures within eight of me. Yep. Is that how that works? Yep. Now, Again, give me an occult check first before you before you decide on your action. An occult check? Yeah, give me an occult check. This doesn't count. This is a free action. I don't have a cult, so would that just be common knowledge give me, or? Yeah, give me or no, give me a give me a faith check because this has to do with your your powers as the blessed. Okay. okay, so a seven. While she is evil and twisted and mutated, you don't actually think that's going to affect her. What about the guys The, the guys that are shooting? Are they not evil? No, it, it's not. Uh, it's evil creatures. So the, those that are past uh, evil, capital E. So these can okay. be awful people. So... Uh, and, it, and she is definitely an awful, you know, inbred family, you know, you know travels with, the, you know, Traverses with the dark powers and whatnot, but it wouldn't necessarily affect her. Now, if she had like some okay. walking, just like before, if she had some walking dead next to her, obviously they would be affected, but she wouldn't. So, okay, I just wanted to do a check. So, Brother Malachi realizes that at the last minute and realizes he needs to do something else. Okay, um, is it fair to say that where the uh, where the tower blew up is now all on fire? That's an awesome idea. Yes, I like that. Okay. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do that real quick. I thought you bought the animated fire like I did. Oh yeah I did I did, didn't I? Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I think there's a better one, but I'll use that one for now. Okay. Question, though, because it says... Um, spirit roll to control the fire... On a raise, you can either extinguish the fire or cause it to explode in a medium burst template. Oh, okay. So you need a medium burst template. Yeah. Um, but what I'm also wondering is how big the original fire is and then how far a medium burst template will go. So the original, it's about 15 by 15. What I've got. Okay. There, uh, so that's on fire. Medium. I'll grab the rest of the templates too in case you guys need them. Okay. Would that circle be a medium burst template? That is a large. Oh, okay. So I'll put that up there. This is a medium burst. And okay. You, sh you should have control of it. Okay. I need to pick it. Okay. So if I medium burst it out this way, I'll miss that guy. But will that set all of that part on fire? As can I set all of that part on fire as well? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's reasonable. Okay. So that's what I'm basically going to try to do is 
I'm going to do a spirit roll and hopefully get a raise. And then what I want to do is cause that to explode out that way and set more of the fort on fire. Okay, go for it. Um, all right, that was not a raise. Um, but it is a success. It is a success, but I need a raise. And a raise, you can either extinguish it or cause it to explode. Oh, okay. Um, well, see, that's the thing, though. If it if it says here that you're trying to take control of it on a success, you have control of it, so you could probably cause it to like slowly expand, as spread. opposed to on a raise making it explode. I I'd agree with that. Uh, so it's it won't explode out. So like if someone was there, it wouldn't explode into them. But you could make the fire grow. Okay. And move in that um, direction. So yeah, how like much larger can market. I make it? Well, you just got a success. So I'll say you could do that. You can double the uh, the length of it. Okay. That's what I'll do then. I will make the fire grow. Um, and then next turn, hopefully, I can make it explode. Um, and then I'm going to hope that I can kind of... With all this fire between me and those gunmen, I'm kind of hoping I can... Like take cover use back as, here. Yep, visual. Use it as kind of cover to keep them from shooting me through it. You won't be able to stop them shooting you, but obviously seeing you shooting at you through the fire, uh, you know, especially because it distorts light and whatnot, yep. it's going to be much more difficult to hit you. Okay, cool. That's my plan anyway. All right. Uh, the gunman who's along the wall, and you've dropped down so he can no longer see you. Uh, he finally, like an idiot, which he should have done before, yells out, There's there's one just outside! <laughs> uh, there's no way he's going to get to you this turn. So he actually turns and fires up at Tobias. And that's going to be a miss. Next in the turn order is Tobias. Alright. That dirty so-and-so just took a shot at me. I'm going to shoot back. A hit with a raise. A hit with... No, just one raise. So roll an extra d6. AFK for a minute. I'm going to go get my books. Okay, 19 points of damage, he goes... Ah, we're almost done. Screw it. <laughs> is, that another, is that another shot in the head? <laughs> yeah, another, another bullseye right through the eye. Literally yeah. through the eye. And he drops back and, and smashes into the tent below him. Nice. Alright. Uh, let's see. Which guy did you take out? The one that uh, the guy originally shot at you. Yep. I got two of them so far. Awesome. And you got the cultist, which was awesome. Yeah, the, that one and the cultist, yeah. Let me see. Double check, double check. Come on, roll. Oh, God. What'd she just do? She just cast quickness. Oh, that's not good. That's not better. With a quickness. Or, as it's called in the new edition, speed. Uh, she doubles the uh, her movement. The duration is uh, instant divided by five. Oh, five. Okay. For five rounds. And she ignores the penalty if she runs. Alright, so let me add an item. I don't know how this would work with the cards, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, she now she actually you see her zoom across 
and she jumps into the wagon here, and she's out of your view. Puppies barking outside. Puppies barking outside. Don't know what they're barking at. All right, and uh, now we're in the rounds to steal some cards. Oh, I need to recall cards. I ran out of cards. Shuffle again and deal again. Oh, good. It didn't override the quickness. That's nice. Actually, that means I can put a zero <gasps> in that one. Damn. And that won't change. All right. What's quick? Oh, quickness. Yeah, that's under Dorcas. To keep track of her spell. Um, okay, gunman number three. Uh, he's oh, wait. Uh, did I get my second card? Oh, yes, you do. See Can you give me, give me an ace? I'd really appreciate it. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that's a great trade. That's a great edge. I, it's just not working for you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a shot at Brother Malachi. Minus two because he's shooting through the flames. Uh, still so gonna hit. Still gonna hit, but no, no raises. <gasps> Holy crap! Ow! I'm gonna soak. All right. Yeah. Throw that Benny out there and give me a soak roll. A bigger check. Come on. Hope, hope for some aces. Be good. Where is that ugly so and so? Dork ass. And it's only a five. All right. So that brings it down to 11 12. damage. Uh, well, I, I have a toughness of seven. So seven eight. plus my soak roll. So that's a total of 12. All right. So that's four. Uh, so shake it in one wound. Unfortunately, he, got, he did get you on that one. Damn. All right. Next is... Who was that that shot me? A gunman number three, just here on the other side of the fight. He's the only one who can shoot at you. He's the only one okay, yeah, I don't see any... There, we, don't, we don't see any numbers on any of them. I forgot to set them. That's all right. It's one shot. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, gunman number five. All right, so this guy in the back... He needs to get a better shot. So he actually... I need, I need to make a notice check for him. Behind you, Evan, you hear someone say, Hey! Where the hell do you think you're going? <laughs> and he's um. scooched to the edge, and he takes a shot at Evan, who's fleeing with... and misses. How far on the bridge are we by now? Uh, you are halfway across because you, you were moving at your regular pace. Okay. So he is at moderate range to you now. Short, okay. The short range increment for him, but moderate for you. Got it. It is your turn. Okay. So um, we are halfway across the bridge. I'll go ahead and just pull out my regular, like my regular old pistol. Okay. And I'll fire in the air, and I'll scream out, "Why don't you come and get me, then, lad?" And I kind of scooch him, I I scooch him closer to the. Love you too. Love you too, Bill. <laughs> All right, so you're drawing more attention to your to yourself. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Good strategy. Yeah, he just said. I think he was talking to Jane. Matthew, but oh, yeah. Matthew. <laughs> I just repeat. We were joking around. I just repeat what he said. Is that Daxton? No, Dax is here though. Oh, he can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
What was that face? I don't know. She's crazy. You married her. Uh, Dorcas comes running out of the wagon. And, um... Dorcas? That's her name. Yep. Are you, like... Did you get this from Seven Brides or Seven Brothers? Because that was one of the girls in it. Yeah, I didn't get it from that. But this is an Old West game. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although I didn't make her name up. That was actually in the thing I used. But anyway, um... So Dorcas, she still has the quickness on her. Uh, she comes out. She sees uh, Evan and the two running across. And she runs. And actually, like, vampiric speed runs all the way up to Evan. I didn't think you'd actually do it, but that's okay. And she's she's got pulls out this wicked dagger. Oh, no. Ouch. Oh, no. So what is your parry check? On My parry? Yes. Four. Parry the platypus! Okay, so that's only... <laughs> Curse you, parry the platypus! No, 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 platypus is the name of the knife. She has to parry the platypus. <laughs> so I'll make sure I do the math right. So four, uh, so that goes down to a 13. Man. So no that would be... Two raises? Yeah, two raises. So let me... Ouch, that's gonna hurt. That's 16 points of damage. Oh! Jesus. Do you yeah. want to make a soak roll? Yes, yes, yeah. you do. Yes, yeah. I do. Alright, so. Oh my gosh. Spend the Betty. Oh, and for distracting, I am actually gonna give you a chip for self sacrificing. I have to spend a Betty to make a soak? Yeah. So you've got two right now, so you can spend one of those. Oh. <sighs> It doesn't matter which color I use? Nope. Any color. Okay. You can spend both of them and add to the soak roll, can't she? Nope. You only get one soak roll. Now, she really? can spend oh, okay. a penny to re-roll a soak roll if you want to. That's up to you. But if she spends like a red or a blue, can't she roll and add oh, yeah, to yeah. it? Or it... Yes, you That's can. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you want to spend the red, you can add a d6 to that four. Let, yeah, let's spin the red instead of the white. As it is, minus four, so 16 points, 12. You're going to be shaken with two wounds right now. Oof. So just do a, a roll 1d6. Six, okay. That's going to reduce you to shaken and one wound. It's better, but so I, it still sucks. I, I can only move because I'm shaken, correct? Yep. Right, but at the beginning of your turn, you'll get a spirit check. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. And Tobias. That was, All right. bad. That was bad timing for that. All right, Marshall, real talk. Is Dorcas in my rifle range? Uh, oh. on the bridge, yes. I would actually say probably not. Plus, you're okay. still outside the fort. I mean, there's a huge fort wall between you and them. Right, right. But if I could see, I, you know, from that one vantage point I was sitting on, I could see everything. Yeah, she, so. is, she is out on the bridge, so you can see the whole bridge. Because she ran all the way out to Evan, so about halfway across. So the fort's not blocking her, but you you don't think that's within range. Damn it. Alright. I'll take a pop shot at another one of the gunmen. Um, what about this guy? Yep. Yeah. Um, try to... Hopefully, Brother Malachi can get in there. I'm, I'll just try to eliminate the uh, obstacles in his way. Alright. Winchester at this guy. That's nice. a hit with the rays. So you get an extra D6. Nice! Now it's now we're talking. So 17 points. Yeah, he goes down. Nice. There's only two gunmen and Dorcas left. That three. Looks like there's oh, three. three. I'm gun. sorry. One was hidden by the turn order tracker. All right. Good, good shot. Uh, gunman number four, who is the one who's under the tracker. Uh, he's taking a shot back at Tobias. 
That sniper is taking them out. Man! And then the last gunman, number eight. He's up top. He's not shooting at Malachi. He is shooting at Tobias as well. And that's a miss. That oh, they're getting it. closer. <laughs> they are getting closer. It takes them a little practice. They're getting closer. All right, Brother Malachi. All right. Uh, spirit roll. Yep. There we Success. go. So not shaken. Um, I will try a hellfire again to see if I can uh, continue spreading that fire. All right, go for it. Uh, so that is a, what was that again? That's a faith check. Uh, actually, it's a spirit roll. Spirit roll to control fire. Oh, okay, and I, I got you. And I need, a, I need a raise to get it to explode. Nope. I That's right. Not. You still spread it. So where yep. would you like to spread it to? Uh, so spreads uh, two more squares. So what The way we'll play it mechanically, you can ex either expand it uh, three more to the right or three more down. Okay. Can you give me control of it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. There you go. All right. I don't have I don't have control to resize it. It's only giving me control to move it. Oh, uh, okay. So you want um, to go down? Three down. Yeah, three down. There we go. Okay, it's nine wide. Yep. All right. Um. And then I'll, um, you said it's pretty wide open here in front of the, you said it's pretty wide open in front of the, there's no place for me to take cover around the, the fort, correct? Well, yeah, so the, the wall is on fire, but if you move down to like here, you will be behind cover. The wall hasn't okay. burned down yet, it's just on fire. Right, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take cover. I'll take cover down here. Very smart move. Okay. Dealing some new cards. Let's see how you guys do this turn. And one more for Dax. Oh, nice. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Nice one. Uh, Brother Malachi, and that is the Joker. Yeah, doesn't that give me something? Yeah, I actually said plus one earlier. It's actually plus two. So okay. any any checks you make... Now, first of all, you can go whenever you want. You don't have to go first. You can go last, anywhere in between, completely up to you. That's the first power of the Joker. Second okay. one is all checks you make during this turn are plus two. Okay. And I don't think you do, but double check. Make sure you don't have any edges that give you extra powers with the Joker. No, I don't think I do either. Okay, so those those would be an option as well if you had those. So you get the plus two, and you can go whenever you want. Okay. In that case, I'm going to let Tobias go first and see if he can pick somebody off. Um, and then I'll go after Tobias. Okay. Tobias, you're up. You're muted, Dex. Uh, this and... Hopefully my luck holds up and I'm still able to hit these guys. Winchester. In his. Damn it! I knew it was gonna. St I knew it was gonna start That's a going hit. downhill. That's a hit. It's a. It's a hit. Yeah, four's a hit. Four's the target without any modifiers. Oh well. Damn then. You know what? Hopefully he. Hopefully I can roll damage. Uh, which one well. were you shooting? Uh, three, four, or eight? This one. Right nice. Here. Your damage rolls are sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, you sent one to meet his creator. Uh, Eight's just blown away. Turns the pace. Goes his body goes tumbling down the stairs. There. That's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, brother Malachi. All right. Um, I will take another spirit check. Um, to see if I can get that fire to explode. Okay. Success, but not not a raise. You went. I think you muted again, Bill. Oh no, we just can't hear you. Hello? 
How about now? There you go. Barely. Hang on. <sighs> All right. So, which direction do you want to grow this? You want to go farther south or farther east? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Is that better. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to continue growing it to the south so that it pretty much engulfs that gunman to the south. All right, so we're going to move it out to there. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, I want to make sure I give you all the distance you deserve. So, okay, yeah, the flame engulfs the gunman there. He is now in the flames and is not going to have a good time when his turn comes up. Okay. Um, and then I am going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to move around to this side of the fort, like staying up against the fort wall. I'm going to start moving towards the front towards the north gates over there. All right. Uh, Dorcas's turn. Good be with you, Evan. Spirit roll. Don't, don't roll low. Dorcas's turn. It's Dorcas's turn. Um, she kind of looks at you uh, and uh, steps back a little bit and she's got your blood on her blade and she kind of licks it off. And she's like, you taste delicious. She raises her hand up and you see like green smoke start to billow from her hand and form into a skull and then leaps out at you. A bolt attack. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I need to do a spellcasting check first. So she was successful. Uh, and a four does hit you. Just barely. Uh, seven points of damage. Um, your toughness is five, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're going to take one wound from this unless you want to soak. So that's only two damage that gets through? It's that's two, a wound? It, yeah, she beat, she beat the toughness. She already has one wound, so she goes up one more wound. Oh, I thought that would just... Well, because she's already shaken. Yeah, she's already okay. shaken. If she, was shaken with, if she was not shaken with one wound, it would just shake her again. Okay, that's okay. That's what I thought. But she's already shaken, so it goes straight to the wound. Right. Okay. Do you want to soak, Jess? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do it, Jess. Whatever you're going to do, I know you can do it. I'm just speaking words of encouragement. <laughs> Thanks. Um... I think I'll just take the wound and save the soak. Okay. So you're up to two wounds now. Oh, you already got it. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Gunman number three uh, has lost sight of Brother Malachi. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he's going to come up. He's taking a shot. Because he was over there. He didn't actually see what was going on on the bridge. And misses. Device has the luck of the devil today. Just curious. How's he shooting outside the fort from down there? He was starting to walk up the fence. Or up the stairs there. Okay. Oh, I guess he wouldn't be able to shoot from there. Okay, so he didn't shoot anyway. <laughs> he just shot wild for no apparent reason. <laughs> so, Gunman 4 is in the fire. Uh, so, go ahead and roll me 3d6, Bill. Uh, gunman number four is dead. Yeah. 18 points of fire damage. Yeah, the flames engulf him. You you hear his, his awful screams, and uh, you see a, a flaming stuntman go tumbling off the side of the wall there. <laughs> he does the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, end of round. Steal some new cards. And one more for Tobias. Hey! It actually worked in Ooh, your favor. Man. Yeah. <laughs> well... There's really no one left for me to start shooting at. Oh, wait, there's still that one guy. Yeah, there's still one gunman. Yeah, but he's down in the fort. Tobias is actually first. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, get up from cover and actually try to try to get as close to the fort as possible. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm waving to you to come on, come on. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm now on that my the way. fort's clear. I'm using, I'm using my, my turn to run down there. Okay, so as give fast me as my broke ass can go. Give me an athletics check. 
Athletics. And then roll me a 1d6, because you said you're going as fast as you can. Oh my god, how about no? <laughs> you trip in, on a cactus. <laughs> in, your, in your excitement, as you're clambering down the rock, you slip, and there's a quick, there's a rock slide, and you go tumbling down the edge and hit the ground hard. You land, so on a, <laughs> land on a uh, cactus. Your your toughness is seven, so you're shaken. Oh. You, you knock Ouch. the wind out of yourself when you hit the ground. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it had to happen. Oh, God. It's <laughs> right. crazy. We, 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 like, pick people off and blow forts up and stuff like that, and then we can't do something as simple as running down a, yeah. down a cliff, down a hill. <laughs> I'm breaking my damn neck. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all right? I can shoot things. I can make things explode. I never said I could walk down the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to start putting points in Mosey just so I know I can actually <laughs> points in Mosey. That's awesome. All right. Uh, Gunman number three runs up to the top of the wall and from uh, – actually, no one but Evan can see him right now. But he kind of points up to aim. And you see him looking around on top of the rock, and he doesn't see his target at all. <laughs> He's like, hey, he was there a second ago. All right, Evan, uh, first thing first, I need a spirit check. I don't know how well this is going to go, but we're going to damn well try. Ah, there it is. Success, you are no longer shaken, so you get your full turn. Sweet. Nice. So, first, I like to... Uh, there's so many things I would love to do. How far across the bridge are we? Are we still only halfway? You're halfway across the bridge. Yeah, Davy and Harley are still moving at their ambling pace. Okay. So I I'm gonna use just just my... for mechanical reference, by the next turn they will be off the bridge. Okay. But they're still on it for this turn. Okay. I am going to use my hand cannon. Okay. I'm going to charge up my hand. Um, I'm going to say, I can do that too, lass. Except for I don't need to call on some fairy god to do it for me. <laughs> All right. Give me that weird science check. Okay. Is it a weird science check or do I just use my bolt? You use your bolt. But that, what that does is roll your, rolls your weird science. Oh, okay. So you can just hit the bolt button if you want. Gotcha. Five is a hit. All right. So Make then. it hurt. This is where um, Evan's dice usually explode like crazy. Actually, you know what? I want to go ahead and use two, two power points to do two on her. Okay. So here's my second roll. That is also a hit. And so then damage for the first and damage for the second. All right. So let me double check her toughness. Ooh, that second one. So first one uh, beats her toughness. So she's shaken at the end of the first one, uh, but not wounded at all. The She has a toughness of five. So that would be two more wounds. She's going to try and soak. I'm going to spend a Benny. And she's going to try and soak that second one. And I only soaked four points. So it goes from 11 to a 7. She's still taking a wound. Okay. And then when I'm done, I'm going to say, Look around, you Dorcas! Your whole army's gone now! Why don't you stand down if you know it's good for you? Ugh. She kind of she she looks at she kind of gives you a scowl then looks back and then gives a startled look and looks back and like oh oh actually she's right <laughs> <laughs> oh shit actually she's right <laughs> brother Malachi um okay um I will actually move do the um do those gates up there do they open in or open out. Can I tell? Because um, if they open in, then I can't open them 
because of the wagon that's in the way. But if they open out, then I can open. They they actually open both ways. Okay. In that case, I will move here. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's too far. I will move here. And I will... Are the gates... I'll try to open the gates. Yeah, are they, so yeah, you open the gates, push them open so they're out of your way. And that's when you do see the wagon like in your way. So that's going to be like... You can move through that, but it's like difficult terrain. Sure. Yep. So, yeah. So I'll basically open the gates and kind of continue taking cover along the wall so it's harder for that gunman to shoot at me. Okay, sounds good. So Dorcas, she kind of looks down like... When your blast hit her, it kind of ripped into her necrotic flesh, and like a, a whole part of her, the left side of her chest, like, like blew away, and you can see like through the like there's a couple of broken ribs. You can see through it like her black beating heart, and her chest, and it's just beating real slow, and like some ichor is coming out. And she's like, ah, oh, I can't believe someone like you was able to hurt me. The blasphemy. Doc so God. It's called like science, that. dumb bitch. <laughs> She's like, Argh. she reaches out to you again, and you see more of that green smoke billow out and goes flying out towards you. And she almost snake eyes it. Does she have to make a spellcasting check to see if she can oh, make th that was the spellcasting check right there. Oh, okay. See, I thought last time, last time you did it, I did you it made wrong. a. I did it wrong last time. Okay. Um, so she rolled a two and the one on the wild died. Almost a snake eyes, but she didn't get a snake eyes. Um, so she failed to even conjure up the magic. She goes to conjure it up, and like you see, like like green energy leaking out of her chest, and like it, there's kind of a short circuit effect, and the smoke just kind of disappears. Uh, just a quick question, Mike. Yeah. She was shaken. Did she have to make a spirit roll? You are right. We'll say she made it, just for that okay. awesome effect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she missed anyway. But... Wrong, wrong one. I rolled a bigger. I need to roll spirit. Okay, she okay. succeeded on her spirit check. So she's not shaken. She's not shaken. Uh, she tries to cast the spell, but with her wound, it's still not enough. She she can't conjure the magic. Oh. That's cool. Sorry. Did you forget to call you again? <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Right, let's deal some cards. Let's see who's first, and let's give an extra one to Tobias. Uh, Tobias got a seven, so I assume you're staying with the nine. I'll take the nine. All right, Dorcas is first. You see her like, Arr. she is getting quite angry with Evan. You see her like, Arr. she takes the dagger and just kind of cuts across her stomach a bit, and you see blood start to let. She causes a wound to herself to enhance this check. Black magic bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Black magic. <laughs> by now, actually, by now, have... Uh, <gasps> oh, no! no! <laughs> that shit just <laughs> backfired on Dorcas. Oh, no! <laughs> she had cut the wound in her chest, putting her down to two wounds. She goes to conjure the magic... And the dark powers that her serve that she serves no longer deem her fit of their divine power. The power, the smoke comes out of her hands and circles back around and blasts her in the face, knocking her flat on her ass on the bridge. And you see the smoke just curling over top of her, and it tears her to pieces and rips her body to shreds. And Dorcas dies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still going to arrest her corpse. <laughs> I'm still going to arrest her left of her corpse. <laughs> oh, but wait, now I can't use my explosives! <laughs> I know, I was just thinking the same thing. I was thinking, man, just run across the bridge and blow it up with Dorcas still on the bridge. You That's can still what do I was going to do! You can still Honestly, do it if you want to. <laughs> I can see her just Her body's on the bridge. You can still blow it up and watch her get tossed oh, down. Make it don't do that. Then we. Then you're on one side. We're on the other side. <laughs> Evan's all disappointed. I never got to blow anybody up. <laughs> Come on, you got to laser blast. You got to laser blast a Watley. That's that. That's, that's pretty cool. Sense. 
Yeah. That's pretty cool. Killing a killing a Watley is pretty cool. And I had a big speech. And I had a big speech planned. I was I was gonna be like, Witch, come and take the judgment of the Lord. I had a big speech planned. No, you can take the judgment of science. <laughs> she murdered her with science. Oh, so, Malachi comes running in the fort. She's like, Where is she? What happened? Where is everybody? I did it. Where's the gun? I really could use some healing, but I did it. I think Mike called it. Yeah, I, I, I called it right there. Yeah, that gunman's not going to do anything to you. Uh, Your witch is dead. It's time to give up. As the, as the whole west side of the fort is burning down. Yeah, the, the, fr the flames just keep out. spreading. They're, they're, they're doing in the rest of the fort. Uh, so I, I, you're, I assume you're going to take them to the other side of the bridge and not deal with the flames? Well, actually, why don't we... Grab a couple of horses from the stable for. We're losing you, Bill. Yeah, we're losing you again. We need new headphones, dude. Oh, no, it's the team. It's got to be. I think it's got to be something in Zoom. I've, I've got to figure out what's no, causing it's, that. It's this computer. It does that Everybody. in the Google Hangouts too, and on Discord. I oh, think I guess you're right. Yeah. Can you guys hear me again? Yep. Yes. Yep. You switched to your camera, didn't you? Uh, actually, I think it's still supposed to be using oh, my it, headset. It went back. It sounded like your camera for just a second, and then went back to your headset. No, it's it's this computer. This computer. The it, it's a long story. Um. Anyway, uh, what I was going to say was, don't blow the bridge, because we need to grab a couple of horses for Harley and 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 uh, Davy. We need to grab some horses for Harley and Davy. Lead them over here. We'll re congregate here on the west side. Um, so, yeah, so recover, retrieve your explosive device. We'll use it. I'm sure we can find another use for your explosive device. Put it in your inventory so Mike knows you don't have to weird science it up again next time. You've already got an explosive device. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to sneeze. <laughs> I was going to oh, say, no. bless you. <laughs> You're like, I thought you were sneezing. Um, I do need uh, uh, Brother Malachi and Evan to make a notice check. Notice check? Never mind. No notice check needed. Um, oh. Um, I failed it anyways. He was trying to be a little sneaky. Oh, yeah. So you rolled even worse. So Evan doesn't notice at all. But Brother Malachi sees Tobias kind of steal away a little bit. And uh, move into the tent, and when he comes out, he's kind of shoving the book into his coat. Uh, uh, Tobias, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not what I was going for. I thought you said you were going for the book. I'm going for the book because I'm not trying to steal said book. I'm making sure nobody gets that book. Oh, okay. So I apologize. What are you doing with the book? My intention was to go as to go find out and make sure the book was there. And it is. It's in the tent, yeah. I've still got these nifty grenades. Yeah, can we just ta take that book and toss it in the fire that's burning down the west side of the fort? Can, can we just burn it will that book just burn? I mean, you're the occult expert. I I'm totally on board with Tobias here. I mean I want to okay. destroy the book. You don't have to sneak. I want to destroy the book, but if that's a voodoo witchcraft book, just tossing it in the fire might not do the job. Here's, right. here's the thing, though. I also agree I would like to destroy it. However, that was Davies, and since Davies, or not Davy, since Harley's not here to defend himself... Maybe we should leave that for next session. Okay, well, let's... Okay. I mean, because this yeah, is... A, a it's, it's 1230, a it's a good time to quit, but I would say when next session starts... We He's have got a lot of explaining to do. We have possession of the book. He has a lot of explaining to do, and it's going to take some really good persuasion rolls to keep us from destroying.